thing is, this is no longer just like a gamer versus company thing. This has become like government issue shit. <laughs> like, people are like, loot boxes are gambling to pigs at this point. And that could be bad for any company that's involved with the said loot box system. Oh, yeah. It's like, what, what, what was. I remember there was a, a government somewhere in another country where they said, you know what, this is basically just. Uh, Gambling. I think it was like Belgium or something. No, it was uh, Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii? Mm -hmm. uh, I think Belgium uh, was in there too. It was quite. Well, a, yeah. It was a number yeah. of countries that said it as well. Mm. The, the yeah. Hawaii, like the guy literally came up into the thing. It was like, hey, you're not taking this shit. <laughs> and so yeah, like freaking loot box. Like the, the whole loot box mechanic is basically starting to like, it, uh, catch like a hellfire. Which is funny because one company I haven't heard anything about this is Netherrealm. Like, I was literally thinking that this morning. I was like, wait, those gear boxes are loot boxes. How come I haven't heard anything about this? <laughs> you know what? You're right. I guess maybe because since the game does have an option to turn off the, the effects of the loot boxes and just make the, the design cosmetic. Hmm. Like if if I like that's just my my guess though, because I mean you're right. Like Netherrealm has like I have I haven't seen them in the, in the cross crosshairs. Well, I also thought it was like two other things. Like most people who probably have done loot box stuff already have what they want with their characters, minus legendary, of course. <laughs> I mean, uh, I haven't gotten my dark side shit. <laughs> well, I mean that's tough shit according to Netherrealm, but. <laughs> <laughs> But then there's like, what, what, wasn't it like freaking you get all my dark side stuff and I keep getting all of your like what was it like poison oh, ivy? Uh, poison ivy and starfire. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like I keep getting all your stuff, you keep getting all mine. Yeah, that's not fun. But <laughs> there's <laughs> also the fact of something that recently just came up for them, which was Ninja Turtles. They're probably still having people hyped up to ridiculous amount, so they're probably not even thinking about loot boxes on that game. Maybe probably not. At least not right now. Yeah. Once don't. people figure out what are the Ninja Turtles going to do, they're probably going to be like, wait, loot boxes. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, this game's got loot boxes, I remember that. <laughs> right, but I bought the season pass and everything. I'm like, yes, to get the Ninja Turtles. See, with the season pass, my friend, you only get one. Donatello is in a loot box. Michelangelo is in another <laughs> one. Oh my god, dude. That'd be so fucking bad. <laughs> That'd be so fucked. <laughs> that would be so fucked, honestly. Yeah, because like that was one thing about it, like for Netherrealm is that the for the turtles, like everyone's like so curious about how they're like how they're gonna be implemented. Because uh -huh. they made, they made a point of it to show that like they're gonna have the four turtles. How you're gonna get to use them though, that's the mystery. I'm guessing they'll probably be puppet characters. I thought that too. It's because that's usually how they do bundled characters like that. Like Ferator and MKX or uh, or uh, Shadow Labyrinth and Ultimax. You know, games like that that have like more than one uh, sentient being there. Mm -hmm. There was always like there was always your one, two and three and four being split up where two is one like say one and three is your main character and two and four were always the puppet character. Because, like, another character similar, which is Ginyu from the Ginyu Force, is kind of doing the same thing. That too. So, yeah, like, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z's got a good chunk of those kinds of characters. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, yeah, I, that's what I, I mean, but even then, only time will tell. When they come out, we'll see what's going on. Then that's probably the best that we'll have until then. Everything after that is pure hearsay. Yes. Judge Eddie has decreed hearsay. <laughs> oh, hell, Judge Eddie. <laughs> Everyone wow. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and so, I mean, not much else we can add uh, to the whole EA thing. Like, we're kind of happy that they lost a ton of money, which is not really a shitty thing to say, but it's also like, the business it's practice was shitty. <laughs> the business practice was shitty, so we, we are going to like revel in this in some form. Um, it's just, it's just, it's finally about damn time that enough of us started talking with our wallets as opposed to talking with our mouths. Mm -hmm. 
because yeah. because this just no matter what your mouths can do a whole bunch of things but talking with something that actually matters that's what they'll start to see it because any any company especially after EA it's like sure three point three point some odd billion may not be jack shit the EA but it's a step in the right direction hmm so it's like, and, and even then, that was reported a few weeks ago, and even with that report a few weeks ago, it was still plummeting from that three point some odd billion. Oh yeah, it's so still so yeah. so long so long as that downward trail keeps going down, EA is going to change their ways, and any other company that's even lower than EA is going to see that, and the gamers are going to think, "I right, bitch, you're next. Try us." Mm-hmm. Because no, 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 no. well, uh, what I was gonna say is that like, uh, like losing some like money, that's definitely gonna uh, get EA like a little like it's definitely gonna get, get it nervous. But I think that if Disney were to pull the license from EA and give it to someone else, then they really start to fucking sweat. Oh, they've already talked about it. Like yeah. literally, a, a CEO from Disney has come to them to like stop this shit. <laughs> Well, like, no, I'm saying like, 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 like that, that's a warning though. It's just like stop this guy, stop this shit, or, or we're gonna pull it away. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying more like he like does give it to someone else right at, the, at that moment. Oh, it's probably like right behind, uh, right behind it because literally this is Disney we're talking about. They oh yeah. Down Skylander when they didn't make their numbers by like five percent at the most. That's like nothing. <laughs> but they shut down Skylanders uh, like that. <laughs> you mean Disney Infinity? No, uh, well, yeah, Disney and Penny, but they they were talking about uh, owning Skylanders on that, and they never going to shut that down. <laughs> Did you not hear about those rumors? <laughs> uh, no, because, uh, like, I didn't consider it because, like, uh, since Skylanders was Activision. Yeah, they've been talking in talks with Activision of getting Skylanders, and they're probably going to shut that down, too. <laughs> yeah, like, fucking, like, Sony should buy the spiral property back, because fucking everyone's been wanting a sequel or, like, a reboot of that franchise with Crash. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> but I guarantee you, whatever the new Star Wars game is, EA will not have any hands on it. Not after this. <laughs> no, not after this. No, no. Either that or, 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 well, I guess. Yeah, I, I hope that, there, I do kind of hope that there is a Battlefront 3, because again, I did enjoy myself playing 2. But mm-hmm. obviously, it's going to be like, you guys are going to have to go way overboard. No, uh, I think they're going to give um, Battlefront 3 to someone else. Well, well, we're finally getting around to that point to where we're demanding, or we're, rather we're trying to demand better quality games. Mm-hmm. Because because this is a thorn in the side of like just about every company who does this shitty shit. It's just, it's like the more and more these companies do these shitty things, the more Warframe gets applauded for this stuff just because mm-hmm. Warframe is being Warframe and it's like the only thing that's locked behind the paywall is cosmetic stuff like Overwatch which is why Overwatch is doing so well the Warframe is like the up and comer because you know Warframe Warframe literally just came out of the shadows just like oh yeah you like grinding games and paying money for cool stuff yeah, man, sign me up. Well, here you go, kid. Have fun. And then it all started going uphill from there. All because, I mean, all because digital, all because uh, digital extremes stuck to their guns. Just like we want to make this is a, well, digital extremes. The people who make Warframe is a company of like a hundred some odd people, and they made Warframe. They're the ones who made the planes of Eidolon. They're the one who make these constant improvements. And if you were to play Warframe a few years ago, comparing it to what it is now, a studio of a hundred people evolved that game into one of the greatest games that is out right now as we speak. Destiny 2 still fucking sucks. No, Josh, we don't talk about Destiny 2. <laughs> but that's the but I, mean, like, that's, I, I, I hear like the 50 50 sound like it's good and it's bad. No, they no the thing because the problem with Destiny Two is it's 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 a better Destiny game, but it's not new. There's nothing <laughs> there's nothing new about Destiny Two. It's just all the it's just it's the it's the fucking words. It's the exact same as Destiny One, except they ironed out a few things, and that's about it. 
That's all. I mean, I haven't played Destiny 2. I, I didn't have much money. Do it, Don't fucking Don't do, do it. it. Don't waste your money <laughs> like I did. <laughs> Done. <laughs> We basically hit all the points for EA, I think. So, when it's the next one? I mean, because, like, it, it, I'm sure everyone and their grandma fucking hit the, all the EA points. This is Madden, dead horse. Madden is still doing well. <laughs> their sports series is doing well. Yeah, but it's fucking, like, EA is going uh, well, EA is obviously, like, obviously at a point where they're gonna have to either be, like, fucking, uh, we're gonna, uh, change our strategies for the better, which, Based off of UFC, it's not going to happen. Or we're just going to keep uh, basically flushing ourselves down the toilet. The only thing I hate about it is that there are so many companies that are attached to them that are also going to be going down with them. Yeah, I they know. don't care. Yeah, like, that's, a, that's, that's, the, that's why I'm saying that's bad. Like, they don't fucking care. Like, you, you look at the, the list of, like, because I think you might have seen that, like, high score uh, 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 broadcast, yes, where, like, breaking. Uh, Goodwin and Gertz talk uh, talk about um, like all the companies that EA's killed because because uh, of their. Right. I already knew before they even said it. Alright, so their their companies are fucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like there's like uh, this video on YouTube of these guys like talking about all the all the uh, companies that EA's killed off because of their bullshit. And you've seen like Pandemic, the the, the dudes that made uh, Mass Effect, uh, all the. Uh, uh, all these super good companies, and it's just like you know that it, because EA is not gonna change, they're gonna go down eventually. But the problem is that all those companies that have super good IP with them, they're gonna go down too. Like any company EA gets from this point, it's a death sentence for that company. Yeah, it's like fucking kiss of death status at this point. Rest in peace from those companies. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, R. I. P. No. you know what bums me out the most? EA did a really good job with Titanfall 2, and it's still one of like the lesser known games. Mm -hmm. Titanfall 2 is great. It has Titanfall 2 has no season pass, coming out with like updates and shit regularly, and it's like, and it's like, what can we do? I like, I want, I just want. Titanfall to do well because it's a fun first person shooter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The only problem is like there are two problems that happened with Titanfall one. It was Titanfall two, I mean. What's that up? was Titanfall one, and then something that came around Titanfall two. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The release of Call of Duty. It's like that's what it was. Call of Duty. Well, well, no. Well, it's not only just Call of Duty. For some reason, they wanted. They wanted. To release Titanfall 2 in between both the new Call of Duty and Battlefield 1. That's what it was. I couldn't remember what it was. It killed it. <laughs> yeah, because it's all this all that sounds like strangely of sabotage. And, just, just, and the thing, but the thing about it is like, Titanfall is better than both Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty. Oh yeah, by the way, country mile. I, I, I don't even have to play them to fucking okay, have to agree with that. Oh, dude, the game is the game is great. It's f it. I if, if anything, I'd say it's probably one of the more fair first-person shooters. Mm -hmm. Does that hit infection bullshit that Todd has? <laughs> but EA was probably like, but we can't get money from this, so they mm. killed it. I mean, I mean, I wish, I wish I could be a shill, cause that'd mean I'm getting paychecks, and that's like. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like, yeah. like imagine I got like friggin' a couple, uh, a couple hundred bucks just for that stream I did yesterday, Jazz. That still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> <laughs> like if I could be, a, if I could be a corporate shill for like good games, good games, like at good games at best. You know what I mean? I, I do. Well, being a corporate shill for a good game, like that's not, that's not the hard part. Being a corporate shill for like a bad game, that's the easy one. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be a shill. I don't want to be a shill for a shit game. I don't want to be a Call of Duty shill. Nah, man. You know what kind of shill I want to be? I want to be a God Eater shill. Son, that's the fuck I want to be. You must have had God Eater's a niche game. <laughs> I know. I know. Look, man. As long as we're naming shill games, uh, I want to be a brutal legend shill. Look, man. A man can dream, can he? A man can dream. <laughs> 
Speaking of shit, like, there's one person I wanted to bring out of this, um, and I just learned about what was happening in between this, because this is one of my favorite uh, YouTubers. His name is uh, Domitire. And he's basically been kind of going all out for, like, Battlefield, uh, Battlefront 2, I mean. And people have been giving him, like, nothing but shit. The thing that people don't understand about that thing is that he signed a contract with them before oh, all this uh, shit happened. <laughs> yeah, I, I just saw a video on this this morning, because, uh, did you see the, the one that, the, the game theory uh, of, of Battlefront 2? No, a friend of mine was telling me about that today, though. Yeah, he mentions that exact specific thing that it's just like uh, they ask you to um, to do like good word or mouth of for the game on launch uh, when when the game's out, but they ask you like for they ask you to do this like months in advance and they do give you some like positive shit because there's some uh, stuff to review, but it's not like the, the complete game, and so then but it's, it's just like once you get like in that in that contract you're hooked for like the, for the rest of your life. Yeah, uh, exactly. Which is what Dovinshire literally got into. And I just wanted to put that out. Like, some of these YouTubers that y'all give me shit for, some of them they're, are like, They're <laughs> literally <laughs> under contract. You can't help it, most likely. Yeah, like, they're literally under contract. The only reason, like, freaking uh, Game Theory was able to avoid it is because he, like, he's, like, took a moment to think about it. They ended up declining. And then next thing you know, it's just like he's putting it up on the video that it's just like, yeah, all these guys are fucking getting grief, and they're just doing their job because otherwise they're gonna get their asses sued by EA. Oh yeah, they're gonna go under. Like, they won't even be able to, like, live in the place. If they yeah. They don't do the EA. EA, EA will shoot them to the ground. <laughs> we, we're, we've spent the last, basically, a, a half hour at this point talking about how much fucking vampires EA are. So, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, contracts. I know, uh, I know this is, like, segue but I do want to say, uh, venting Big Cat, man. Sorry I didn't greet you early. I know I was just typing at you. But venting Big Cat and Taser, man. Welcome. What's up? Word. What's up, bitches? Uh, speaking of shields, uh, how would you guys... Here's the segue. Would you guys be shields for the new Avengers trailer? No. Shut the fuck out of that. <laughs> 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 So I guess that's a yes. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just not chilling for peak uh, Kool-Aid uh, Thanos over there. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, I'm chilling hard for that, for that trailer. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that, that, that was a good trailer. Yeah, uh, have you seen it, Eddie? What? No, man. A movie? I don't watch movies, man. Yeah, he doesn't watch those movies. Well, no, 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 no. I, it's like you're saying that like I have a bias against certain movies. It's just that I just don't get out much. No, he doesn't know watch that piece of shit you like. No, 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 no. You're not gonna make me look like a villain like that. I'm gonna make me look like a villain like this. I stay in my room and play video games all day. All right. You ain't gonna sell me out like that. Not like this. Uh uh. <laughs> Like, not like this. It's okay, Marvel. I got your back. Just send that check in the mail real quick. I, I will show, Marvel. I'll totally show for you guys. I, I'll do more from a Marvel Infinite teams if you if you guys want. Fuck okay. it. Just send a check right in the mail. I got you. <laughs> okay, first. Yeah, I do find it interesting, though. I do see, think that they might have shown a bit too much in some areas. Like, I, uh, you don't get the full story, but I feel like I get a general idea on more than I could for the first trailer to come out. Like, uh, how so? Well, let's get the obvious one out of the way that everyone saw coming, but I kind of still didn't want to see it, which is Vision getting his uh, Mind Stone taken out. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that one was everyone was just fucking knew it was coming. Well, if you know the comics. Yeah. Like, I mean, to the average viewer, no, they don't know that's coming. But like to us, like we all knew it was coming eventually. But I still don't want to see that yet. I want to see it in the movie. Because then, like, instead of like people who like, don't know the rules of the comic, wondering what's gonna happen with Bit and his uh, mind stone, or whatever, now they can't think, is he gonna die? And we've already got enough of that uh, going around with um, the Avengers and this phase three. And they... Right. Uh, what else? I mean, other than that, though, like, I do think it looks really fucking good. Mm -hmm. 
like the trailer, yeah, like, obviously yeah, it's got like, problems, but uh, other than that, it's just like, yeah, the, the trailer really looks really good. Thanos looked like a fucking threat. He might actually, uh, his, I, I never had this much uh, of an annoyance as a lot of other people have, like a lot of movie reviewers and stuff, but, uh, you guys are really robotic like, right now. Yeah, you guys did. I think it's my business connection. Um, oh no. Um, but, like, I think that, like, he, he will solve Marvel's villain problem, for sure. To be honest, I think it already kind of solved with Michael Keaton. This is kind of went backwards a little bit with uh, Hella. With Hella? Yeah. Like, slightly backwards. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was just like, like, there's like a lot of cool shots, but I'm sure that there's everyone going to be fucking quoting this kind of heels for a while. Uh, until all the quotes from Black Panther come out. Mookie, you have to say this, Mike. Give this man a shield. <laughs> I don't have the accent. <laughs> uh, anything else? <laughs> no, I think I killed enough for a minute. Okay, you can give me enough for a I um, totally, I totally realized that I can I, I still, I know I said this earlier before we started, but I still feel like I just came here like way unprepared. I know, yeah, there's st I mean there's stuff there's just stuff I can just bring up. Which we will get to that later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got okay. like, basically, Jeff gave me a list of like topics we're supposed to talk about, uh, and. Uh, so we're hitting on the next point that he gave me, which is like, I don't know how you transition to this, going from Avengers to leaks. Uh, Marvel! Avengers, yeah. hey, men take leaks, and you know who else for leaks? Sometimes the internet. So, boom, subway. Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe later. <laughs> I'll fight you some other time. <laughs> I ain't got the patience for it right now. <laughs> Take it, Uh, well, okay, so which leaks did you want to go over, Jess? Well, let's just start from the list down. That's the quick, the best way probably to do it. Alright, well, because, uh, we had, because this is, like, technically the second episode of this podcast we're doing. The first one was, uh, we haven't talked about uh, two things, really. Because it was the first one was our opinions on guest characters in fighting games. And the consensus was basically Jess and I thought that, like, we, we like guest characters in other fighting games just as long as it makes sense. Uh, Ninja Turtles and Injustice was a good example, but we weren't really feeling Noctis in Tekken. Which is a good chance to have Eddie talk about this, because you guys have been within Noctis. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you old asses. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. This was Eddie's turn. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, like, like that'd be really fucked up. It's just like, hey, Eddie, what do you think about this? Man, fuck you old people, man. <laughs> man, I like not this, man. Screw you all. No, that's not it. No. No, it's like everybody's doing all this backlashing, like, oh, man, Seth Roth could have been in the game. Tifa Lockhart could have been in the game. Some other arbitrary not popular Final Fantasy character if they were to even choose a Final Fantasy character would be a better fit for Noctis because he's a skinny teenage kid with black hair and he wears all black yeah, guess not, what yeah yeah he's not popular fuck off <laughs> but you but you know what he is more popular than you think just because he's not popular to you nigga does not mean that he's not <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't know why. I just. like I have no. I can't have really much opinions from Final Fantasy XV because I haven't played it. I don't know why. I don't know why I slid that in there. I slid that in there for me. But it's like. But it's like. It's like. He's got the gall to disagree with me. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know that there, there's only one character, right, that I wish that was in the game, and that's Kazuma Kiryu. But that's what the that's what the rest of the world wants. 
You know what I mean? The rest of the world wants Kazuma Kiryu in the game. We all do. But not this from a business standpoint, because Final Fantasy is, well, Final Fantasy 15 is probably not to you guys a good game or somewhat decent. But you gotta under. That's, but that's you, right. I haven't tried it. That and that and here's no. no uh, <laughs> but see, here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing about this, right? The Tekken the Tekken community is not gonna be okay with shit being different, right? Mm. They never they never will. Tekken three, we had a dick sized fucking dinosaur, right? Ain't nobody flip a lid over that. We have angels and demons and ogres and dragons and shit that shoot fire and lasers at people. We have fucking brain dead robots, haha. <laughs> and, no, <no>. and actually, <laughs> I, I do want to one, mention one thing though, because like we were talking about this uh, the last time we were doing this podcast, right? And basically, that's the logic that ended up proving that there could be a Tekken cross uh, Dark Stalkers. That oh, could yeah. that could be that, but that could always be the case. But I'm just saying, it's just like it's like we have immortal, we have an immortal family with devil blood, and there's an angel involved because you know, you know, symbolism and all that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We have a drunken master. We have we have a rich blonde. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? We have a big titted schoolgirl. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We have a demon milk. <laughs> We have a demon milk. We have an agile fat guy. We have an Arabic guy. We have, come on now, like, oh, we have, what, in this rendition, a Japanese hentai porn star, right? But nobody's come asking on, questions. We have an Arab guy. Yeah. We have a panda. We have a fucking grizzly bear, which I still don't understand Peter for because it's like they made us take Roger out of the game because he's a fighting kangaroo and kangaroos can actually steal off on niggas, which, you know, would you think be an equal measure of strength, but they will, I don't know, go after the, I don't know, grizzly bear, the fucking panda with the teeth and the claws and shit that goes after people. No, 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 no. Everything's cool with that, but we get a kawaii desu desu girl, and everybody loses their fucking minds. We have a, we have a literal sex robot. I'm talking about Alyssa. We have a literal sex robot in the game, <laughs> and it's like nobody bats an eye, right? We have a, we have a rendition of Bruce with big tits and cries a lot. Nobody's angry about that. We get another big titted chick, whoa, whoa, and it's whoa, like whoa. every nah. Don't you interrupt whoa, me, whoa, you whoa, son whoa. of a gun. <laughs> I. Have, I was okay with you hit the Bruce one, but nah. But am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but but am I wrong? Am I wrong? You got half wrong. How am I? You gotta admit, some people don't like Josie taking Bruce's spot. <laughs> But you know what? You know what? They're not angry. They're not angry with Josie taking Bruce's spot. They're angry with a crybaby Josie taking over badass Bruce's spot. That's what they're angry about. Every people would be okay with Josie if she wasn't a crybaby. That's I mean, even still though, it kind of falls under that category though. Okay, but the same thing could be said about Raven and being switched out for Master Raven. I think Master Raven's but- better. Master Raven, yeah, Master Raven's better in every single way. Not only that, but she's better than Raven, literally. <laughs> right, okay, but that's cool and all. But it's like, it's like, but, but, but why did people get all ape, go ape shit when Loki Chloe was, in, in, like, evolved? You know what I mean? People, see, <laughs> Kawhi, Ka- yeah, Kawhi Desu Desu girl, yeah. But, uh, but the point I'm trying to make is, why, why would... People are getting angry over these relatable characters. You know what I mean? This is 2017. This is practically the era of relativity. You know mm. what I mean? This isn't this isn't the early two two thousands and shit. This isn't a game where Marduk is popular anymore. Now we got gig ass. You know what I mean? Nobody cares about gig ass. Nobody cares about gig ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Leo's androgynous. He, he, she, it switches genders every fucking game, and I still want to fuck. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is like, it's like, okay, people went ape shit. I'm just saying, it's just like all these, all these people just don't know how to see things in a different light. Because Geese Howard isn't relatable. This is some blonde guy. This is an American who speaks Japanese English. What? 
You know what I mean? But everybody was like, oh, shit, Geese Howard, guys. Oh, my fucking God. But then this relatable teenager wearing all black is 2017. Everybody in our generation wants to die anyway. All their friends are dead. Push them to the edge. That's what not this is for. Really? <laughs> really, nigga? I know. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I was, I know. I was pushing, I was pushing buttons there. I mean... <laughs> But, uh, but I'm just, I'm, the, the point I'm trying to make is all this other ungodly shit in a fight, in a martial arts fighting game, right? You know what I mean? It's like, why are people getting angry that, look, Kawaii Desu Desu Girl's in the game, but we, we've had a Japanese space ninja going around stabbing himself and people over the past some, how many years of Tekken has been out? Oh, geez. Exactly. And Yoshi Mitsu has been there since Tekken 1 and nobody ever questioned him. Hey, why does this guy have a sword? Well, okay. I do have something for that. Alright, what's up? And that is because his difference between Soul Calibur versus him and Tekken. He right. plays totally different in Soul Calibur than he does in Tekken. Okay, good. Like, I mean, I mean, good point. Yeah, that and uh, <laughs> that and, but you know what? Yoshimitsu was better in Soul Calibur than he was in Tekken, which is fuck travesty. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. But it's like we have Brian, right? This guy is an android. This man is like practically indestructible. But people are not okay with that. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. People are okay with that, right? Mm. It's like why is it like why is it this this game, right? Or at least this game series. All these martial arts, the, the, uh, I understand why we don't have, I understand why people are angry that we don't have Lei. I'm angry that we don't have Lei. I don't even play Lei, and I'm angry that, that we don't have Lei, right? Mm -hmm. That's cause, cause Lei is like an iconic character. That's, that's the type of, that's the type of hate I can get behind, right? But hating Noctis just because he's a, he's a teenager with angst, right? It's like, oh man, this officially killed Tekken. How, how, what? How? How did this, how did this kill Tekken, right? Well, and the thing is, like, with the way you're putting it, yeah, well, I think me and Lucy were talking about how, like, with the current cast of Tekken, it doesn't make any sense to block him out because he's Final Fantasy, pretty boy or whatever. I mean, we have a vampire, for God's sake. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you had like some sort of like alien god or whatever. No, yeah. and, and, and that's another. That was another point I was meaning to get to. We have some. We have some small titted slash big titted, whichever your prerogative is, type of demon, right? Who was in here in an I experimental mean, stage like, of Tekken with Tekken Revolution, right? <laughs> and it's like, it's like Harada himself put up a poll. Hey, who do you want to see in the game, right? And there's like this Tekken Force guys, all these cool looking dudes with badass body armor and shit. Nah, we want the big titted vampire, my nigga. Yeah. You know? But, but, but not this is where Tekken dies? We, we draw... Die, no, 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 no. But, I'm just, but I'm just saying, uh, we, we, we voted, we as a community, maybe not us individually, not us three individually, right? Maybe not us. I, I we... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, maybe we didn't pick Eliza, right? But the, com the community as a whole picked Eliza, and we're just like, okay, well, fine, right? We'll get, we'll get Eliza in the game, which is some weird demon. Mm. We get lucky Chloe, everybody loses their fucking minds. We get Geese Howard. Niggas dicks is hard as we speak. Yeah, I think I heard Bazzi somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's like it's like Noctis comes into the game, right? But we're okay with the we were okay for a little while with Akuma. Like we were we were like, whoa shit, Akuma? You know what I mean? Well here's the problem I have with that. No, wait, no, 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 right, no, because we, we might agree. You're, you're okay with him being in the game. You're just not okay with him being in a story because he just seems that he just kind of just dropped in there, just like. Oh, no, I have no problem with that at all. So, like, what? as far as, like, story him goes, I was fine with it. Okay. It's, Talk to me, my friend. about Akuma versus Noctis. Akuma is still a hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Like, the, the fireballs are, he has fireballs. Fucking devil uh, and, and Kazuya have fucking lasers. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> right. But, but I'm just. Okay, but what, what's your point? Noctis, 
Mm-hmm. Noctis is not a hand-to-hand fighter. He's a person who uses all these fucking weapons at his disposal, which will be break the whole game with the drain. Like it's like a Soul Calibur character, right? In the Tekken game. I see what and you that mean. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's a, I mean, I mean, I that I agree with. He will probably be he will probably be more fitting in a Soul Calibur game, where Soul Calibur was a game about weapon weaponized martial arts, whereas Tekken was mostly about uh, you know, hand to hand martial arts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the exception Oh yeah, Jazz, I found out how to do double gen standing laser. It's up back one plus two now. That makes no sense. No okay. no it doesn't. <laughs> I, I I know like I know this was like completely way off topic, but yeah, I just figured I'd let you know. Yeah, I'm glad I know now, but I was like, what the fuck? How can I not do this thing now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. No, it's good to know though. But no, that's my main problem with Noctis. Like, with Geese, yeah, he's still hand to hand. Yeah, he has all the parries and whatnot. But so does uh, Jin and uh, Suka. That's it's not really different, really. No, I'll say I'll say Geese's parries are different because Geese's parries take skill. Cause I, cause, cause I put, I took, no, no, cause get, cause get this, cause I put, I made like the day Geese came out, right? At least on mm-hmm. PS4. I took him into the lab. I made a punishment video on him. When I got to his parries, this man has a quarter, no, he has a half circle back forward, and then a two button input for his parries, mm-hmm. and he has three different ones. He has ones for high, he has one for mid, and he has one for low. Yeah. So it's a mix up every time. You, if he does a high parry, all you gotta do is to hit him with a down forward one. You're in there. Kick him in the shin. You're in there. If he does a low parry, you can hit him with a mid, or you can well not a high because you know it's a low parry. But yeah. even then, you can you can mix that shit up. Mm-hmm. And people didn't know that about the trailer at all until I went in there myself, and I'm like, okay, now he's not as brain dead as I thought he was. Jin's parries mm. or fucking Wong's parries were fucking mad, maddening. Rip Wong. <laughs> yeah, you know mm. what I mean. So it's like it's like no, cool. Geese is cool. And mm. I think Noctis is gonna be cool too. I agree with you on the weapons thing. The Royal Arms. Mm. He, like a man who can literally spawn weapons out of, we'll say his asshole. Let's go with his asshole. Really? We, we're good with that. <laughs> All right, cool. We're good. No. We're good with that. All right, cool. But it's like, it's like the only thing that truly, really, truly sucks about it is that Yoshimitsu is no longer like that unique character with a weapon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But even, but even then, Yoshimitsu is Yoshimitsu. He's not going no fucking where. Mm-hmm. It's just that. Yeah, yeah, but it's just, it's just that now he's not the only character with a weapon. I guess you can count Master Raven too because she has that sword that you can use for like one attack. Use it though. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't. Th- I mean, I don't consider that. I don't make. I don't think that really counts. But the very fact that it can be used as an attack at mm-hmm. some point makes it count a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just my thoughts, and that's any thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's like he's just a different segment, but it's just like, hey. Well, I mean, we kind of did go to that segment, though. Like, we did do it last time, but it fucked up, so. Which, we're just re, re, recapping. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, like, that's the thing, though. That, that's basically the, the same thing I would say with uh, Mark, with Marcus in seconds. Just like, yeah, you know, he, like, I don't think he fits that well because it is uh, a dude uh, with a weapon fighting lots of hand-to-hand guys. Uh, hand-to-hand guys. Um, and, like, you know, whereas, like, you got, like, Ninja Turtles and Injustice 2, it's like, yeah, that totally makes sense, because they're all comic book characters. Mm. Yeah, like, they fucked with each other in comic books already, so it already makes sense. Yep. Alright, do these leaks. Go. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's what we were supposed to be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, what was it? Because, I finally fucking got into that situation, because... We were talking about the last episode, one of them was, well, we just fucking heard about what, what it was. Uh, and then the other part was that we were talking about some of the leaks for some of the, the games. Uh, did you ever see this uh, post? Hey? Nope. Let me see. Nah, man, no, I didn't. Uh, you, you never saw, you never saw the, the Reddit? No, nah, like the, about the whole leaks and stuff? Nah, man. Yeah, because it's like, it's this super huge uh, leak list. Oh, shit. 
um, where it's a, it has like a bunch uh, a bunch of leaks for a bunch of Cap, uh, Capcom games and a couple of uh, Bandai Namco and uh, Nintendo games. Mm. And uh, we went over some of them because a, a lot of these things are supposed to be like super heavy changes to some of the games. Like for example, uh, one some of the stuff that like we went into was like the characters for season three of Street Fighter V. Uh, arcade edition were going to be like uh, this guy says that like Sakura, Scott, Cody, Sodom, and like two final five characters are supposedly uh, going to be the characters in season three. And that like there's some other shit where, like, for example, uh, there's a rumor in in or like, or there's like some extra uh, information here in, in this leak where like apparently there's going to be four free, uh, free characters. Like for free of charge, uh, no battle points what, or cash money uh, needed to unlock these guys. And uh, it's like these kinds of heavy hits, and so uh, which, and we did like all the Street Fighter Five stuff. Mm. But uh, which ones did you want to go into next, Jess? Because uh, keep in mind, we are gonna have to keep it shorter because some of these are pretty huge. Yeah, uh, Marvel's ridiculously huge. Let's save that one. Yeah. Um. Anyway, let's go to Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, I guess let's let's take the Capcom one for later because those are gonna be massive. If, if uh. Yeah, those are huge. All right. Uh, yeah, so let's do Dragon Ball Fighters because the Bandai stuff isn't exactly that big. Yeah. Because uh, I was reading it, uh, some of it earlier, and all of this uh, sort of consists uh, of of like the the stuff it is for the. Three characters for the season pass. That's what that's what I see so far on this list. That's what most of it was about. Mm. And those three characters are supposed to be uh, base form Broly, or not, not, uh, base, not, not base, base form Broly. Broly. Yeah, I mixed the two. It's Broly, base form Goku, and base form Vegeta. That's and, stupid. And apparently, yeah. two other characters that are launch characters are gonna be uh, Beerus and Hit. Yeah. With Goku Black being DLC later down the line. Oh yeah, in his rose form. Yeah. And, and so, I guess like, thoughts on, on... Blah blah blah, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess like, uh, we'll, we'll get into thoughts, uh, who's got opinions first. You wanna take this one, Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> or are you too burned out from the Noctis? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't keep up with the other games like that, but what? What leaks about what leaks about? I'm trying to trying to process my thoughts here. Whatever whatever thoughts I may have. Uh, right, let me go first then. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. Um, Broly, awesome. Kind of one to kill, but I'll take Broly. Uh, base form Goku and base form Vegeta. Like, I want it. I don't want to believe that's true. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Because it just seems really dumb <laughs> in many ways. <laughs> I mean, they're pro he's trying to say, like, well, base form Goku have like spirit bomb and shit, and that's cool, but I don't see why you couldn't give that to, like, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and that aspect and uh, all his other moves that he's talking about the base form path. Like, that seems kind of dumb to me. Well, you, um, you know, cause, like, uh, sorry, do you mind if I interject for a little bit? Go ahead. Because the thing about it is that this kind of bugs me because, yes, of course, it's another whole, uh, situation of, like, you know, wasted plot character. Mm. But uh, the thing about it that really bugs me is that I just think to myself, why couldn't they do something like, say, for example, similar to the Tenkaichi games where it's just, like, you make the transformation a, a special move and then you can get new special, unlock new special moves while you're in that transformation. This is, like, a, a fighting game that's got, like, four super bars. So, like, yeah. uh, like... You could have like a little diversity with the with the move set, because uh, yeah, Broly. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm I'm way for, but it's just like, why couldn't you have like the the game start off with start off with base form Goku and Vegeta, and then have those be the characters where it's just like okay, because clearly they've already got a character that does that. Fucking Frieza transform uh, can transform because of a super. Then Gohan's gonna do it too. And who? Gohan. Like uh, uh oh, don't Gohan. Oh, uh, Gohan. Yeah, so it's just like, clearly they've got characters that can transform. Why couldn't they make Goku and Vegeta those kinds of characters that can transform? And then it's just like, oh, well, we want uh, these guys to use other specials. Let them make it so that when they transform, 
they have access to these other specials, or their animations change or something like that, you know? They, they, they could, uh... They could make it so that they don't have to use up more slots for other characters that people want, uh, by just making, like, three versions of the same character. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is a very weird list. And not only that, but some of these other characters they have on the DLC doesn't make any sense to me either. Like, let's... You want to go with the one that really sticks out to me? <laughs> Which one? Fucking rabbits. <laughs> yeah, he was not there for long. <laughs> like, I can't believe Raditz is gonna be DLC. Like, you know, you know what they should have done? What? They're fucking, they, they should have made it so that it's just like you know how Nappa can summon Cybermen. Mm -hmm. They should have made him like a freaking thing that Na they should be Raditz a character that Nappa could summon. I'd be down with that. Because I mean, like they were part of the same uh, the same team. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, why not just incorporate that? Instead of having him another fucking wasted slot character. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, uh, Andy, we have also in this list Bardock, Raditz, and Zarbon. Just, just throw that in there as well. <laughs> all of yeah. those, all of those make sense because at some point Raditz was an actual threat. Yeah, long ass time ago. <laughs> a long, yeah. but uh, okay, but we can say the exact same thing about Bardock. Bardock isn't relevant anymore, but yet people are hyped for him. Raditz was hyped all the way those years ago, but people were like, fuck Raditz. Look, Super Saiyan 3 Raditz, make it happen. I'm, I'm, I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. I would give them respect if they did that. <laughs> No, fuck. Because, I mean, okay, it's like, I, okay, I'll I'll say this, right? Okay, Raditz isn't very prevalent. I, I agree with that. Okay, whatever. There are a lot of non-prevalent characters put in the game. Because you want to know why? Because they're a part of that DBZ lore. Is Yamcha going to be in the game? Yes, he is. All right, then. I think my point fucking stands right here. All right, if Yamcha's in... Okay, no, here's if, my thing about Yamcha. All right. Yamcha is the Dan of the game. You need a Dan. <laughs> <laughs> then what about Raditz? Raditz? I mean, really? <laughs> Yamcha, Raditz. <laughs> Both of them. I, I mean, Yamcha's done more stuff than Raditz, though. But who's the one we keep making fun of, though? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. It's like if you, if you're gonna be like that to Raditz, you gotta be like that to Yamcha at this point. Like, let's see. They already you, are. You know, the Eddie. That they even uh, Team Four Star has made a joke of Rad, not Raditz, uh, Yamcha killing himself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I know that much, but I'm just saying. And guess what? They made fun of Raditz's power level. I am worth two and a half Raditz. I'm worth fifteen Raditz. Come on. <laughs> Right, but but okay, but Raditz can't be in the game. But Yamcha gets off. No, no, no. It's not not only. Raditz, well, what's up? Raditz can't be in the game. It's the fact that Raditz is DLC. Oh, okay, that okay, <laughs> okay. So we so we had a miscommunication. I'm with you 100 percent on the way. Why is that nigga DLC? Yeah, like why does he need to be DLC when, from what I understand from the story aspect, we're also going to the hell basically. I think as well as this uh, story. So he could have been there. <laughs> like, he could be part of the story at some point. He could be what you just said, Moosey, with, like, being called by Nappa or something. I don't know. Yeah. But as his own character in DLC, I don't, I don't get it. Same. Like, for me, I, like, for me, the reason I don't think Reddit should be a character is because I just don't think he was around in, in the show long enough for us to actually, like, see a lot of what he can really do. Like, he doesn't have, like, a lot, a lot of, like, super memorable moves and stuff like that. Saturday when, Crush! Uh, that is, oh, really. <laughs> <laughs> My ass is that, like, games like Xenoverse 2 and stuff like that, they kind of already fleshed out his moveset, so they can just take from that, to be honest. I guess, yeah, because, like, I'm, I'm mostly going off of, uh, fucking, uh, Sinkai T T, and, like, I, I was, like, playing with him, I, I, I never really played with him, because, like, I, I, I'd use him, and I'd think, like, man, this is one of those, like, just, uh, padded out characters. Hmm. 
So fucking. I mean, like th that's that's my thought process on why I don't think he should be DLC. Why how would it be better if he was like called in by Mapper or something like that? Hmm. No, I think I think at the very least we can all agree it's like why is he DLC? He shouldn't be DLC. That's for sure. Exactly. That yeah. and the base form Goku and Vegeta. That too. Wait, wait, know. whoa, wait, wait, hold the fuck on. They're DLC too? Yeah, they're DLC. Yep. They're gonna come with Broly. What the? In, in their first three characters. Why? That's what? what I was going into the whole thing about, like, why not they transform and then they have the supers? That way you don't have, like, three Gokus and three Vegetas. Yeah, we literally have three Gokus and three Vegetas now. This is true. This is all still leaks. Hey, Elias, if, if, if these leaks are to be believed, if there's, if there's any truth to these leaks, remember, take this with a grain of salt. It's fucking easy to be believed. We've got we're gonna have three Goku's and three Vegeta's once the twelve DLC comes out. What is the first season? That yeah. is, that makes no sense because it's like base form. Base form should have already been in the game. He should have been the first reveal. They really should have. They should have been the first reveal. Yeah, I mean Super Saiyan Blue being different. Okay, I I can. Yeah, I can. All right, they did it as yeah. they did it in Xenoverse. Okay, we we can live with that. All right, cool. But Super Saiyan, what Super Saiyan one Goku and Vegeta? Not even Super Saiyan two Vegeta. Not even Super Vegeta. Not even Super Saiyan three Vegeta. I mean, I'm sorry. Not even Super Saiyan three Goku. Nah, man. Putting in Super, I do want them to show say three Vegeta just so that they can sort of like go like, okay, fine. See, he's here. He's canon. Fucking like, uh, go nuts. Uh, but like fucking as this moment is just like fucking yeah, he doesn't need to go Super Saiyan three because he can fucking go blue. Yeah, there's no point. <laughs> like, why are you doing this? <laughs> For the fans, Jess. Fuck the fans. He can go blue. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm with them on this one. Yeah, fuck the fans. He can go blue. <laughs> okay, so okay, all right, okay. See by that logic, by that logic. Yeah, I know. I know. Here it comes, right? Using logic. Nah, I mean someone in here has to, right? Someone has to use logic. Do nah. we? Yes, nigga, we do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I what I really mean is, okay, why? If he can, if you, if everyone can say, okay, it doesn't matter. They can go blue. Why have the super? Why have the super saiyans then? You know what I mean? It's like, but why is he Super Saiyan 1? He can go blue. Why would Vegeta go get swole as fuck, boy, and go Super Vegeta, but he, he too can go blue? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I I mean, I, I mean, I didn't really want to, like, shoot down the, uh, shoot down the, the transformation thing, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, they can go blue, whatever. Well, fuck it, if they can go blue, even, why even bother having them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. With this DLC list, I really wish there were more super characters. Like Goku Black, yeah, he was the one I wanted, like for sure. At this so, moment, yeah, like because this list, this list basically has just three super characters. Yeah. And there's so many to pick from. So many good ones. We're oh, bringing, by the way. So many good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I just took the time to go out of my way and say fuck Rubri. And he's not even in the involved. And he's not even trans. He's dead. I just have to throw that one out there. But there's, like, there's so many to choose from. We've got all these ones that are they're cool, but they're not really hype, in my opinion. Like, for me, I kind of... I would switch around some of the characters, and i throw in more of the villains from the... They're, they're the ones that I think that would be really cool as DLC. Hmm. And if, and if I'm gonna get controversial, I would throw in some GT characters, too. That's what I want. Banned for life. <laughs> it's my podcast. Man, no. man, fuck y'all, yeah, man. Super Saiyan Four, Vegeta, and Goku were the shit. Yeah, I, no. yeah, I oh, said it. Give you that if they're the fuse. Wait, what? Say that again. If they're fused, I will give you that. If they're fused, what? You mean not like not separate? Come on, man. They were cool separate. No, no, no. Fused, four designs were, give were you awesome, that. dude. <laughs> Like at least, at least. Okay, how about this? How about this? If you want them to be fused, we gotta at least have them separate. Cause I mean, they can't fuse unless they're separate. Well, yeah, like yeah. the intro for uh, Goten. Like his thing that has them uh, separate and then they fuse. Wait a minute. Oh wait, Goten's is one character. There's no Goten and Trunks in there, is there? 
Yeah, it's just one character. They, they, they fused an intro. They, oh, okay, they fused an intro. Okay, okay, so you're fighting my logic with that. All right, good yes. shit. <laughs> good, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. I like it. I like the way you think. I see you're a man of culture as well. Yeah. Like, that's nice. I see where you're coming from. Yeah, nice. Nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> He twisted your words. <laughs> no, no, not even, not really even like twisted my words. It's just like okay, if we're being logical, logic if we're <laughs> if we're being logical here, then let's do this instead. I'm like okay, all right, all right. I can't believe we're gonna have four Goku's if this link is true. And oh four God! <laughs> 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 that out. No, 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 how about this? No, how about this? How about this? We're gonna go we're gonna go into the Twilight Zone with this shit. We're gonna have base Goku, we're gonna have Super Saiyan one Goku, we're gonna have Super Saiyan three Goku, we're gonna have Super but, Saiyan like, four the, Goku, the, and we're no, gonna have basically gonna be Goku and Vegeta. And we're gonna have Vegeta blue Goku. We're gonna have blue Goku, right? Okay, see here's the kicker. All of the transformed Gokus can't transform, but base Goku could transform to anything. I was real. I was really hoping that you guys did not agree. <laughs> I was really counting on you. I was really counting on you guys. Like, no, nah, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Okay, I was well. with you until you said you can transform to anything. <laughs> 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 but okay, so I think that's enough of that because fucking that just turned into a random ass chip form. <laughs> yeah, all I'll say is I kind of hope this list is not true. I don't know. It's like things that I don't like about this list. <laughs> I'll say this: if the list as a whole is true, I'll be fine with that. Because mm -hmm. I, there are a good, like, because I'm talking about like the entire thing, so like all the Soul Calibur stuff, all the Nintendo stuff, all the uh, Street Fighter stuff. Like, I'm hoping that the list as a whole is true, because then I'll be able to put up with like all the little stupid tiny decisions that I see put some red. Because if I was nitpicking, there'd be like a shit ton of stuff I'd change, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's for the Dragon Ball stuff. Next, uh, next is Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> there's going to be someone's excited. Uh, there's going to be uh, a release of Soul Calibur 6 uh, for the PS4, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. Fuck Xbox. There is no Xbox version mentioned at the moment. If there is going to be one. Yeah. Something about that is mad suspicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, this is like months old and. So, of course, this is going to be blasted because it did say that it, it was going to be revealed at uh, PSX. Yeah. And they kind of already did their little lineup already online. And I didn't yeah. see it on there, so... <laughs> Unless it's just um, like, oh yeah, by the way, we have one more game just to fuck with y'all. <laughs> they might do that, or it could be like snuck into like during one of like the conferences Destiny or something 3. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny 3, baby. We we're already working on it. it. Destiny 3 confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> you know, I have slight beef with this because of a recent topic we just went through. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one? The Noctis one. Oh. oh man, what you got against Noctis now, man? You old ass. <laughs> 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 well, the fact that he's coming to Tekken when he literally could have been coming to Soul Calibur 6. We don't even know Soul Calibur is a thing yet, so I'll say I'll say this. Let me know. No, no. Let me let me let me say this because you're fantasy booking right now. All right. So let's say. Well, okay. All right. Good point. Good point. You have made your you you have you are making your points very strongly, and I fucking love you for it. I'm more of like I hate him for it because I want to be right. No, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, look, I'm all for being right, except when I'm not, because I'm wrong <laughs> as fuck. So, so with that being said, good. I mean, good point. All right, but Soul Calibur Six is not even a thing yet. So let me say this, right? 
so long as Soul Calibur 6 is not a thing, I will continue to tell you to hold that L for Noctis being attacking them. But it but but let me say this too. If he does turn out to be if, if Soul Calibur 6 turn out to be a thing that exists and is, you know, mm-hmm. a sentient being, I'm like, okay, Noctis would be a hell of a lot better in Soul Calibur. Because mm-hmm. I, I can agree with that. I'll I'll, I'll agree with that. Mm. Although, there is a... Uh, I did hear another rumor about Soul Calibur 6. It's saying that instead of being at PSX, it's going to be at TGA. Oh, the Game Awards. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, by the way. Did you guys ever do your votes on that? I... I hope this isn't like cutting into like a segment or anything, but I want to be. I'm gonna be yeah, I want to be cute. You bitches! <laughs> I don't even know when they have, when they happen. Yeah, they were having votings. It's like it's like there was just like the best ongoing game, and Destiny Two was on there. I'm just like, oh my god! I, yeah, it was. It was on there a lot. <laughs> I want to. I want to slip my throat. Honestly, like, oh my god! Did okay. you say chilled? <laughs> 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 my name is in, is in the votes. Dude, yeah. dude, that was so fuck. That was so fucking insulting to see. Like Destiny Two, yeah. No, all right. <laughs> no, I did hear that a lot of games that might have been revealed at PSX are going to be revealed at TGA. So, so they they just basically moved it down the line. Exactly. Huh. Well, because like I, like I did want to get into Soul Calibur because I do know that. We have a uh, like a Soul Calibur fanboy among us. Oh, dude! I swear to God, if Soul Calibur Six is out, fuck that I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Final nail. I mean, I mean, like what you like. <laughs> Do yeah. it. Like, like it, man. Just, just don't be a sellout. Don't. Well, okay. Well, how about? Well, okay, okay. Well, let me. No, no. Let me not say that. I said the wrong word. Let me not say mm-hmm. that. Don't, don't. Shill, shill your fucking ass off. Mm-hmm. I'm, I say this, I say this as your friend. Shill, shill the fuck out of it if it does end up being a thing. Mm-hmm. But so long as it's not a thing, you're gonna look like a jackass. I just want to let you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I learned from Tekken. No, well, no, well, no, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. How about this? Let me. I'm not saying that. I'm being an asshole right now. It's something I'm good mm-hmm. at. Mm-hmm. I want to say. Okay, if Soul Calibur does end up being a thing, what I appreciate is just like you are finally excited because that's what I because that's what that's what bummed me out about Tekken. Well, at least for you, it's like mm-hmm. you you got so bummed out on it. It's just like all the characters that you want. It's like, yeah, but there's this character, but it's not the one I want. Mm-hmm. So I'm not practicing. I'm I'm not playing, or I'm not gonna take this seriously. I'm not gonna put any remote amount of effort into it. That shit fucking sucks. Remember when we, we used to beat the shit out of each other in Tag 2 all the time? Because we had everything we wanted. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Fighting for hours. Cursing each other out. Calling each other bitches and shit. Awesome. <laughs> That's how brothership is made, man. But this, mm-hmm. this, I can barely get a peep out of you because your character's not in there, man. You're just like, yeah, man, do whatever you want. Go body <laughs> Dazi and Jin, man. I'm just gonna yeah, sit here and just beating you on the ground and you're just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, Jazz, be my friend. I'm just like, no, nah, man, no June. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm still your friend. I'm just not going to be excited. <laughs> I'll just be over here. <laughs> I'm just an emo kid. And be... <laughs> <laughs> can't, be, can't be mad at you for it, but it's just like, ah, oh, man. Just, uh, I, I just. It, it, it I, still I, somehow affects you, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hell yeah, it affects me. Because I had, a, I had a fucking sparring partner. I don't have sparring partners anymore. You know who? You know sparring partners I got? People in fucking lobbies, man. And they kick me for winning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they do that so much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can't... I mean, yeah, it's online. You shouldn't give two shits about online. I'm all about that life. But guess what? Online is the best I got. I'm jobless. I can't go... I can't travel right now. That's mm-hmm. all I got, man. So with that being said, guess the fuck what, boys? I have to play in these lobbies and get kicked for having a one win Master Raven, alright? That's just how the game works. Mm. Oh, you got Master Raven, fuck that, get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> My Master Raven has like about a hundred plus wins now. I actually put, mm. I've been I've been putting in some work with it. Nice. 
Oh man, she's okay. So I mean, awesome. like, I thought I thought like freaking Jack was just gonna go more ape shit over Soul Calibur, and he's more like fucking. Oh dude, there's one thing on here. I pray to God it's true. I super pray to God it's true. Is and this is the fact is that Soul Calibur? Um, yeah, Soul Calibur. Well, the fact that Keelik is no longer gonna be a weapon master. I pray to God that's true. <laughs> Keelik used nunchucks, didn't he? Keelik used the staff. Uh, so Maxi was uh, nunchucks. Okay, Killick mm. was a staff user. I do not, I do not play Soul Calibur much, if at all. Which is understandable. It's it's a interesting game. I'll give it that. But I <laughs> love the game. I absolutely. Yeah, you love it. I was like, you know, I, you like. I remember, like I, I remember the last memory that I had of playing, uh, playing Soul Calibur. For some reason, one of our friends, one of our, one of my old classmates, wanted to pick Nightmare and spam people off the map. Yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the messed up part about it was every time he fought, every time he fought me, I'm so used to Tekken, so I'm over here like trying to well do what I call Korean backdashing, but it's like I'm jumping and shit, like I'm ducking <laughs> under the attacks and I'm doing these mini jumps over the attack and I'm over here pissing them off by not hitting them and shit. Just like, how the fuck are you doing this shit? <laughs> hey, get out of my house. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this nigga. <laughs> oh, old school local play. <laughs> yeah, I will. Totally be that person. I was a super Soul Calibur fanboy up to four. Like, Soul Calibur could do no wrong for me. And then five happened. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say, because, uh, are you sure about that, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I, I admit defeat where it is due. <laughs> Soul Calibur five happened, and then Lost Swords happened right after that. I was like, uh, alright. <laughs> Lost, Lost, Lost Swords was the free to play one, right? <laughs> Was that? Lo Lo Lost Souls was the free to play one, huh? Yes, yeah. but it was only single player, and they they tried to uh, sugarcoat it. It was like, oh yeah, you can play with other people, but they didn't tell you it was other people's like CPU data, and then like they used their characters in the single player aspect of it. So yeah. you're still playing by yourself. <laughs> Damn, what a shitstorm! And they just couldn't get away with it because like, oh, you know those characters you wanted in Soul Calibur Five, like Taki and Sophia and uh, all these people. They're in this game now. <laughs> like, have fun. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Cool. The, the one thing that really broke my heart about so, the Lost Swords, because I actually did give it a chance, was that you have to unlock characters via, like, a progression system or whatever like that, mm. or you can buy them. Of I course. Saw that, <laughs> I saw that to buy one character, the one character I wanted was the Song Mina, because uh, Keyleth wasn't in there yet. In order to buy her, you had to pay $100. Whoa! How much? I'm not kidding. It was a hundred dollars. What the fuck? Uh, I kid you not. I was in shock when I saw that number. Jesus Christ, <laughs> man! I didn't wonder why it went down. Oh, oh. Yeah, it went down hard. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why them doing that was even necessary. If they was going to charge $100 to get a character put into a game, they may as well have just made a Kickstarter for Soul Calibur 6. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, dude, that, that broke my heart when I saw that. Because it was like, they tried to trigger because like, oh, you need all coins and stuff like that. They don't tell you how much the coins are. I literally kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who pays for this? <laughs> You know that you'd always know there's some Japanese people who probably paid for it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just laughing at this message my brother sent. Those Japanese shills. <laughs> you know how they are. Oh man, shill. The word shill is gonna. It is so devastating nowadays. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I remember, I think it was like an event hub where they had like the what's the true definition of shill. I'm not surprised. Yeah. This has been thrown out like ridiculously now. Yeah. We got we forgot to use our own word, I swear to God. But, uh, <laughs> so I think that's it for like the for the leak list. Uh, they were about as well as could have been expected. Oh uh, yeah, cause I forgot about that. I mean, you know, looking right at it. <laughs> hey, Nintendo boy over here, why don't you hit the Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> Mister, I own a Switch. He's in fucking going to Nintendo news. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Thanks for reminding me because um, there's apparently some stuff about uh, how there's going to be a, a Switch 
version of a Pokemon game. Like, I know that's so... Like, everyone knows that's a thing. Mm-hmm. But I think... Cause look, cause here's what it, says, what it says exactly. There has been pressure towards Game Freak, Game Freak to get Pokemon's 8th generation out in hopes of a release next year. If you recall Pokemon Stars, that is or was real, but all of it was a Sun and Moon port for the Switch, used as an engine test tech demo thing. So I think that kind of like, what, deconfirmed the, the footage, some footage some people might have seen? Uh, possibly. Okay. And then the Metroid Prime 4 uh, might get some reveals uh, in January, mm-hmm. which I think, which I feel like a lot of people are going to be hyped for. Yeah, especially since it's not going to be a logo this time. <laughs> <laughs> People are just losing their shit though, because they're like, Oh my god, it's out! Also, apparently there's going to be some Animal Crossing stuff. Uh, let's see. There's apparently some sort of virtual console subscription service in the works. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, we'll see, because fucking, like, you got my money if you have this one specific game. Uh, but it's damn specific, so they might not. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. So, also, they're confirming, or this list, list is confirming, that they will be releasing uh, Mother 3. I uh, super don't believe that. Okay. <laughs> that so <laughs> many people are just, like, super not believing this information. They're uh, hesitant. Uh, that, that this is gonna be a thing. I'll say this. I don't have much to add on this subject here, but I will add this. If these niggas can put Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch, Half Life 3 should at least be probable. This is true. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to find out, like, figure out, like, the connecting point between. How we're talking about Earth by, uh, or Mother 3 and then all of a sudden go to Half-Life 3. Is it because of the 3? No, 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 no. Because Skyrim has been reported so many times, right? It has been reported to every console imaginable. Hell, I'm be surprised if I see a PlayStation Vita version come out for it next. I would not be surprised if that happened. I'm not gonna same. <laughs> They're pouring it to a dead system just to prove a point. Sa- same. <laughs> Fucking same. And it's like, it's like, if, okay, if Todd Howard can do some shit like that, right, get Skyrim out on the Nintendo Switch completely unnecessarily, mm. ha- Half-Life 3 should be a thing. But I'm just saying, if Half-Life 3 should be a thing, they shouldn't be so, so doubtful of what it, what was it, Mother's 3? It's Mother 3, yeah. Mother 3 coming mm. out, you know what I mean? That shouldn't be like, yeah, whatever, nigga, shut up, you know what I mean? I don't think, you, I don't think it's worthy of that. I mean, not only that, but like at this point, I would say that people, uh, if people, if people, like, if they're worried that uh, people aren't aware of like characters uh, from Mother Three, it's just like, yeah, they're totally aware. Those they've got some of those fuckers in Smash. Mm-hmm. It's so, just like, the story, it, the way the story works. I feel like it would be so weird in this time period. <laughs> I mean, like the first, like the like the Mother Two was already weird as hell. Oh, Earthbound was fucking weird. <laughs> and I never even finished that shit. <laughs> like, literally, like, I feel like with the SJW shit nowadays, I feel like that would go really bad. <laughs> like, maybe uh, later down the line, sure. But now... I, I don't know, man, because I think, like, people have to start worrying about Nazis again. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, I don't think... I don't think Nazis are going to be a problem. At least for us. Mm. Mm. Well. But anyway, that, that's Mother 3. Um, and there's also apparently there's this guy claims that Square Enix is doing the world ends with you 2 exclusively for the Switch. I never even played the really? game. I don't even know what the hell the world ends with you 1 is. It's a. Uh, it's, well, that's the definition of a niche game right there. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was interesting. Definitely a big story driven S game. Hmm. But like it's how can I put this? It's almost like Persona, but not as good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I can't really put it. Like, I, it's like, no, okay. horrible to say. Like I don't really want to put it that way. But I can't. Yeah. Put it that way uh, I was about to say like fucking Eddie goes how. Did- 
<laughs> no, I was just, uh, the only thing that I was gonna say was just scream out persona, and that that was it. <laughs> I wasn't the only one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an impulse for me. Just, like just imagine persona, persona. But <laughs> that's it. Like that, I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize <laughs> for my outburst. <laughs> I apologize for my outburst, and it will never happen again unless you say persona again, to which I will not be held responsible. <laughs> Let it be shown on the record. When it happens again, you cannot get angry. Yep. <laughs> and then the last thing is that apparently there's been there's uh, a, a supposed Hearthstone port for the Switch. I mean, I, it's not battle verse. <laughs> I, I can I can see it being a thing since the Switch is basically like a tablet. So yeah, I can I can see that. Speaking but, of which, there are Hearthstone uh, tournaments at uh, KIT. I'm like, how does this work? <laughs> I mean, how do, how do card game tournaments work? <laughs> I mean, I'm you? guessing they're using their systems or something like that. I'm guessing. They're, like their computers. That's what I saw on there. Was, yeah, yeah, you bring in your computer. Everybody bring their computer. What? I think, I think it's because, like, I, I, I do watch uh, on occasion Hearthstone tournaments, and I think it's like, uh, they do bring in these, like, special computers that have, like, uh, I think all the cards or something like that, but they, they, I think they, they use, like, special accounts. Okay. I was gonna say, yeah. like, they probably just use setups that were already there. Yeah. Alrighty, okay, that makes sense. And I was thinking, I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> I'm just saying, because, like, if people are traveling the kit, I'm assuming these people are, like, local. Hmm. Well, just... Some of them are local. Some of them are like Atlanta, blah blah blah, stuff like that. Like, right. there, like there's like the, the tournament scene for Hearthstone is pretty huge. They, they get people from all over the world. Exactly. Do you seriously think someone's going to bring their fucking rig potentially across the country? Oh, I'm sorry, across the fucking world. Much yeah, less the much less the country. I mean, I they just they just need to have access to the cards that they normally put in their decks, and then they're good to go. Yep. Mm. I guess I'll see it when I see it over there. Yeah. But, okay, now it's the end of the leak. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but what about these other leaks? Son of a bitch. <laughs> so, so we go to our next segment? Uh, this is where, when we were discussing it, uh, it got kind of muddled, because it was like, and then you you have what says, uh, the penny for your thoughts segment. I mean, I'm pretty... Thoughts? <laughs> it began in thoughts! <laughs> uh, and... Where you described it as we bring whatever story we want that is important to us at the time, so you can do the and then that goes off of what we were talking about. Right? So it's like so whatever story we want. Yes, it could be controversial, could be not, could be something to do with movies, games, whatever it is. I, just bring it to the table. <laughs> I have an opinion. Oh my god, it's controversial. <laughs> And we're done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Good game, boys. We <laughs> get up, walk away. Good shit, boys. Man, I'm glad we. Thank you, man. I'm glad you guys are happy. <laughs> You're under contract. Come back here. <laughs> right, uh, Mook, you want to go first? I know you had something. Ah, uh, well, hmm. Did I? <laughs> um, because like like uh, I I did kind of think uh, about the the PSX stuff where it was just like since you said that like some of the stuff got moved but then after a while I was like yeah fuck it um because because I I think it did go a lot of a lot of it from the leak list about like how true it might be and since uh, there's also all that stuff about um how you mentioned they they have the schedule set up for PSX that like it's entirely unlikely that we're gonna see some of those. So I think we'll just probably wait till like uh, TGA and then have mm -hmm. like uh, our opinion there. So I guess you could say that like the, the last the, the thing before the uh, the closing that you scheduled. I, I guess you could po po consider that my my thought. Okay. Well, I guess well, unless you have one, maybe. What a, a controversial topic! Is it? Well, just a, just a topic you want to talk about in general. It's just like, hey, I like. To... Get out! What? Yeah, you cut out and then you just had an outburst. <laughs> well, because what I was saying is, uh, like you know, you just gotta have, like, do you have anything you want to talk about in general? 
<laughs> Why are Link's tits so small still? Word. <laughs> Why did you agree so casually? <laughs> he has the same back, I did it mostly just to get him just like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Why not? Yeah. I'm like, I was expecting that. You're just like, nah, man, I agree. What? No, not like this. You took the wind out of my sails. <laughs> no, okay, okay. All right. I got, I got something because this is something tech and related. And. This is going to be somewhat controversial because it's died down some. Well, it's died down some. But this whole this whole squid dicks and main man thing that they got going on here. This mm -hmm. this subtle YouTube beef that they got going on, uh, passive aggressively calling each other scrubs and all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not they both. I don't think they both made themselves look like asses while trying to make the other well no no speed made himself squid dicks I'm calling them squid dicks thanks reason mm -hmm. because squid dicks made himself look like an ass when main went when the main man was just trying to explain something mm -hmm. even though the main man explained it wrong you know what I mean like the game is just you know, just a tiny bit inaccessible for newer players which makes sense you can tell like you, you can definitely tell. It's just like, yeah, this game, this like this game is fucking hard. Mm -hmm. But it's like, but it's like, for, for Squid, for Squid to say some scrub on YouTube did said something about this, and all you need to do is get good. But Squid does not have a history of getting good at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, because uh, because let's if let's face it, for as much as Squid Dicks plays, you think he probably would have won something, right? Well, depending to where the people he was playing, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, I mean that that kind of doesn't matter because the, the main argument is, well, he was number one on the Tekken World Tour, but got bodied like it was nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's yeah. just and it's like. It's like I don't know. I want I wanted to talk more about this while it was going on, but I guess since I I have the hot seat now, I figured I'd just bring it into the air and see what you guys thought about it. Well, I'll say this on that aspect because really this stands to the FTC as a whole to me. Who? Like the, the FTC as right. a whole. Right. Like with the FTC being that it's growing and it's growing at a very rapid pace. We're probably going to see this more throughout all games. Like, not just Tekken. Oh, yeah. Not just Street Fighter. All of them. Yep. The, if you're a fighting game, you're probably going to get this. And I think as the community grows, it's going to be interesting to see how it grows. Because let's take another community, for example, um, League of Legends or something, uh, somewhere around there. Right. Like, I wasn't there but like they really grew up big or whatnot, but I was there when they were starting and it wasn't that toxic per se. But as it blew up, it became what it is now, which a lot of people are saying is an extremely toxic environment. <laughs> yep. And it kind of makes you wonder, since we're blowing up at a rapid pace, we're at this point now yep. of blowing up, are we going to be like them? Absolutely. Or are we going to be different? <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we... I want. I'm saying we, as in like, people with logic, like people using logic, right? Mm -hmm. We don't always use logic, but when we do, it's damn strong. Mm -hmm. What What I think people like, uh, like mid level players like us. I don't know about you, moves. I haven't played you in fighting games much. You could probably uh, be. A, you could probably be a god for all I know. Uh, I am my level two <laughs> <laughs> Come on, moves. I was, I was trying to, I was trying to pump you up, moves. You let him down, man. You let us all down. You stay off this city. <laughs> oh, you get that going? Like I'm over here trying to pump. I'm trying to like pad our stats for the podcast. You know what I mean? Like we're all, like we're gods, man. Or we're mid-level gods, man. Come on. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, fine. It's just like I am the greatest ever, and my dick is. See, see, that's the fuck we need. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, Luke, the God. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined the moment, but next time, we got that shit, all right? <laughs> okay, sure. We'll look for that. <laughs> But I've been, I'm thinking with us, with us being in the middle, right? We're not, we, damn it. How can I, how can I, how can I really put this? We, we as fighting game, well, we as gamers, because we're gamers. We're not fighting game players. Mm -hmm. So, because we are gamers, I feel as though, because we're gamers, we hold a little bit more, we hold a little bit stronger logic than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Other than like from a say a fighting game player, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like the way we think. We think I don't want to say universally, but it's just we think like a gamer would think. So mm -hmm. it's like so it's like whenever we are faced with adversity, we're just like okay, well let's go see. Like all right, let's try some shit out. Like all right, so I'm getting butt fucked by this, so I maybe I should do this, do some of that because you know the the I'm sure the three of us we've been playing like. Uh, turn-based, turn-based RPGs, free, free-based RPGs, fighting games, racing games, shooting games, you fucking name it, we fucking played it, right? Yep. Yes. So, it's like, so it's like, we, we get ourselves in so many fucked up situations that we have to think our way out of. When it comes to fighting games, we're just like, okay, well, I guess wrong. Well, whatever, you know. Like, okay, can't win them all. But it's like, it's like these fighting game players. The FGC is full of fighting game players. It's kind of like the same with Madden players. Or like two, just 2K players. Or just Madden players. Or just FIFA players. They're so one-dimensional. That that's bringing, that's going to bring toxicity into the community. Just because they don't have that level of thinking. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that I'm smarter than them. I'm just saying that we think more than they do. Yeah. You know what I mean? The only thing I will say to, like, it's not really, like, disproving your point and all, and, and all that. I do agree with this. The only thing that makes me think that maybe, just, like, I'd say 5% at this point, right. <laughs> that maybe there's something we could be different in this community is that I want to say maybe three, four years back that it came to a point where, like, we had well we still have our groups now but yeah. like it was like you were in that group and that was that if you wanted to get to the other group fuck you <laughs> right and as time has gone on i feel like we've become more open in our group minus smash smash is still kind of toxic at this point yeah so we're not gonna go there <laughs> but i feel like with that i feel like there's more growing more than people think as far as the fcc goes in that aspect Okay, so you're talking like strictly fighting games. Yeah, just FGC. Just okay, well, just just FGC. Like, okay, I see what you mean. Like, I was trying to bring other groups in just to put like, but a real point is just FGC. No, no, now now I get it. Now I get what you mean. Yeah, I totally, I totally see. What, I see where you're coming from now. Like, I'm not saying like you're wrong in any way because I completely see your point. I was, I was, I'm kind. I guess I'm optimistic in that aspect. Of maybe we can be different from these other groups that have gone to be so like they're there and it's like nobody wants to join that group because they know it's going to be like a shit show <laughs> now okay but talk to me about this then my friend Moosey you get in on this too I ain't going to let you be quiet <laughs> did you guys didn't boy <laughs> Okay. But when 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 you say it's going to turn out to be a shit show, give me an example. Okay, so here's an example of when I went to a um, a League of Legends stream. Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, since I've already been on that. Right. I didn't talk. I didn't do anything. I just watched the chat. A guy who literally came from a Street Fighter background was like, "Hey, I would like to learn this game. Anybody have any tips?" And the first thing that pretty much everyone said in the chat, the chat was going pretty uh, fast, by the way. Of course. They, Try Google. Try Google. Wow, word. And I saw that so many times. I'm just like, really? Nobody's going to help him? He wants to learn your game. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I see what you I see what you mean, because it's like because it's like because I, I've done an example of this for my own because 
because by some twist of fate, I'm the I'm a, I'm an admin of a Yoshimitsu Discord. Not the best player by any means of the definition. I go as far as to say I'm shit, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like even when even when people come into my stream, when I'm streaming Tekken and when I'm playing Yoshimitsu, I have Yoshimitsu players and I have non Yoshimitsu players come into the stream and they see the way I play. And it's like, hey, what do you do about this? And I'm just like, well, well, it, it really depends on the person, but what you would want to do is this. Or someone from the chat was like, oh, yeah, well, you do this. I'm like, hey, how do you get into playing Yoshimitsu? And it's just like, Yoshimitsu is hard work, but he's a freestyle character. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can play Yoshimitsu any way you want. It's just that I, in particular, play Yoshimitsu very safely. And like in comparison to the other Yoshimitsus, the other Yoshimitsu players take way more risk than I do. Mm-hmm. But me, I don't like I don't do that. I really don't go and I don't go crazy. And it's like, holy shit, you play so fucking reserved for Yoshimitsu. How do you do it? It's like I'm trying to play Yoshimitsu like it's a Mishima. Mm-hmm. But then the same person who asked me about how I play Yoshi will ask somebody else how I play Yoshi and just like sometimes you just gotta party hard bro yeah that does happen you see a lot too but but the but the fact but the fact remains is that we don't give people we don't give people no bullshit like try Google yeah yeah you know what I mean we just Mm -hmm. we just let we let them know like the pros and cons of this particular character it's like what like what you what you want to get with playing Yoshimitsu is to get into your opponent's head and make them be scared of the shit that you might do, mm-hmm. as opposed to like playing Kazuya, the weakest machine in the game. Movement electrics at the right time. You mu- you got to be very defensive. You got to poke a lot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, but it's like, but it's like, at least at least with that we're giving we're giving people an answer. We're like, mm-hmm. well, you want to start off with doing this, do a lot of pokes, do a lot of dick jabs, do a lot of generic down fours and shit like that. Yoshimitsu, make him scared, get in his head, fuck him up. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, what, what about Eliza? Just jump, jump around, hope he gets distracted by the tits. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, now, now we are alive. Well, at least in Tekken, we were always a lot better because it's like I think there was a, I think there was a certain there's a certain threshold that you have to get you have to pass mentally before you can even consider getting into playing Tekken. I feel and it's like, but this is coming from me, someone whose only fighting game is Tekken, right? So it's like out of all the fighting games I could have chose to play, Tekken is the one that has my heart. Tekken is the one that I actually even really bother playing. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's it'd be a little bit easier for me to explain. Well, no, I'm not good enough. To, I wouldn't dare say I'm good enough to explain how Tekken works. But at least I can tell them what happened or what was going through my mind at the time when I was trying to do this particular thing. You've got experience you can draw from. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just like, but then, but then again, I always get the disclaimer. But that's just me. You may have a different experience. Yeah. What's your thoughts on this? Yeah. Gone. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> my thing is basically like for in regards to the whole FGC to- uh, toxicity thing, uh, I do have to, I do agree with that. I think that like because a lot of the gamers are trying to become more open and accepting of like uh, other community of people entering their community, that that is a positive. But another thing though, I think is that uh, to sort of prevent a community from becoming uh, super toxic is you have to look at the examples of like super toxic communities and just like you know stamp out any signs of uh, that kind of that level of toxicity before it can really spread you know because uh, from what I'm hearing League of Legends is like super toxic and fucking like no one will be willing to help you you're gonna have to fucking uh, go through hell just to become a decent player and you know you gotta you gotta fucking uh, get a good handle on um on shit getting like super negative uh and like believe this is if you really want your community to thrive and let me just start by saying like i don't want to shit on league of legends as a game itself i can't play it for shit but i know it's fun <laughs> i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not a mobile player myself i hear it's good 
I just don't I don't I don't agree with the whole elitism the whole elitism mentality because I used to have that elitism mentality mm-hmm. and it wasn't mm-hmm. but it wasn't in Tekken or nothing like that it was in it was in Call of Duty of all things you know what I mean mm-hmm. this was like when I was in middle school shitting on kids being called nigger all the time you know what I mean yeah so but it's like but it's like what it what it was I guess what what was humbling for me was <laughs> all right this is gonna be a little bit embarrassing jazz i think this is probably around the time you met me or mm-hmm. sometime before i met you but or before <laughs> yeah like before before we even met mm-hmm. so it's like it's like what brought me down to this level now was just years and years of low self-esteem trying to go online and have high self-esteem getting shot down and it's just like, god damn, man. Or you get your ass kicked. You get your ass kicked in video games so many times that you just fucked around and got good. And it's just like, it's like, hell, you, hell, do you want to know how Lee, how Lee, like the master of fucking games, and I became friends? How's that? Dude, me, Lee, and Breezy were like, we were fucking teenagers, yo. And it's like, mm-hmm. Lee's a master of games. I'm just playing for shits and giggles. But Lee was... <coughs> Lee was having a, a problem in this game called Black, right? No jokes. Mm-hmm. That was a good game. Black was the fucking shit. But Lee was actually having problems... Lee was having problems in Black. And we was on a three-way call. And I just told him, it's just, oh yeah, when you get over there, that's when you, have, that's when you need to do this and do that. He was just like, oh, oh shit, it worked. And that's how Lee and I became friends because I was friends with Breezy, but Lee and Breezy had been friends like since childhood. Mm-hmm. And then somewhere along the line, along the line, I came into the mix, and to this day, we are still best friends. Hell, just last night, just last night, we went out, and hell, I smoked a hookah for the first time too. You <laughs> monster. <No>. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, but but even then. Like even then, it's like all these past failures that I've had is what is is honestly why I'm even able to help people win my YouTube videos like I have been, cause I know what it's like to suck. I know what it's like to oh man, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna shit on these kids. But they're AI Eddie. Shut the fuck up, me. And it's like <laughs> it's just like and then you get bodied. You, you, know, you know what I mean? You're you're talking to a persona fanatic, right? Me, mm-hmm. persona fanatic. Would you believe me if I told you that I failed playing Persona Three four times before I beat it the first time? You know, it's, after playing that game, I can kind of believe that. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you like? Would you believe? Like, would you believe that failing so much at Persona Three and finally beating it, and then the game, then the lesson that the game had taught me. You know what I mean? Mm. Just like, just be nice to people. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, Persona was one of those games that just changed my way of thinking. Mm. Like, I changed my entire mindset because of Persona. Persona's 3 and 4. Persona 5, same thing. I play these RPGs and shit, and I get, in, I get involved in the story and shit. Like, who cares if it's shit? The only, one, the, only, the only game that I've like truly started that I got into the story for and just ended up backing out on it was Andromeda, and that was it. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Like, I felt the salt come out of your your vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's like, but it's like, I had such a huge competitive edge back then to the point where, you know, some of my, like, my friends tried to get me into professional Call of Duty, and I'm just like, yeah, nah, man, I don't, I don't need that in my life. Just because, like, just because I became somewhat decent at Call of Duty, you know? But it's like I'm all about these RPGs now. I'm all about like trying to help people now. Mm-hmm. That like and even then, before I even came up with this particular screen name of mine, uh, the people that I used to hang out with, I don't want to name them. They don't deserve that fucking credit from me, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's like it's like those experiences is are even why my screen name is the way it is. Word. Cause only, cause only I, only I can fight. I can only fight like the evil in my heart, but the logic in my brain, right? 
Mm-hmm. Like that's like that's like that's where the shit mixes up for me. That's why I'm named the Corrupted TV because I'm so fu- like I'm like I got so much shit going on in my head, but my heart's telling me this, but my mind is telling me that. Just the constant struggles that you deal with yourself, having low self-esteem growing up, always thinking about shit. Word. But I just learned to I learned to embrace it, and that's why my screen name is what it is. I'm actually thinking about changing it too. I'm not gonna change no PSN again or nothing like I'm that. Say, don't you do that? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not doing nothing like that. But it's like. Okay. It's like. I mean, I'm gonna change it because I'm in such a. Mo- I'm in such a healthier state of mind than I was back then, like when we first met Jazz. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like, like who I am now compared to who I was back then. Oh man, fucking superstar, MVP of the fucking year. Word. And that's mm-hmm. a. But, but that's a, but like even then, that's just personal growth and everything like that. Word. I don't know. Th- this is, but this is, this is me just rambling on. The, like these are the things that I think about all the time. Hey, you had the podium. The podium is yours, good sir. That's basically the uh, podcast. To true that. <laughs> And even then, like even then, but now because of because of all these experiences that I had, all the humblings that I had, all the ass beatings that I've taken in Tekken and, and in other fighting games, or even in other games in general, like all the losses that I've sustained on the way to this mid level that I'm at, you know, mm. all these hell, all these losses are why I play on two piece side as opposed to one piece side, like the rest of the fucking world. Word. Yeah. You know I was gonna wonder that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, the story behind why I play on two-player side in every yeah. fighting game because I lose so many games. I've lost so many games playing fighting games that I always started on player two side anyway. I might as well just stay here. No, <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Between Tekken Six, Tekken Tekken, Tekken Seven, Ultimax, and all that, I've lost thousands of games. Thou- thousands of games. I've lost so many fucking games. You know what I mean? So it's just like playing on two player side. Well, you're playing on the side. You're playing on the loser side. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm gonna make it the winner side, baby. Nice. Hmm. To the point. To the point where I can. O- I well, using machines, I can only properly play on two piece side anyway. I can't electric on one player side. Worth the- Well, I can do it. I can do. Well, I can do it better now. Right, I'm better at it now. I can do it, but it's like when I'm on two player side, you can you can tell that I'm just like on top of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what else? What else is there to add? People keep people people keep subscribing to my YouTube channel, and it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it no, it's 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 pretty cool. It's 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 good to see it's good to see that the advantage that I'm taking on tech and not having a tutorial is working out for me in the growth of my own channel. Mm-hmm. Like I think that's I think that's pretty cool. Because uh well just well it's because like everybody's just like, yo man, thank you for the Yoshimitsu vids because apparently well besides Inca Inka and I are the only two Yoshimitsu players, and I think in all of YouTube, that even make these punishment guides. I'm not surprised. It's not like a, a big thing with Tekken 7 for some reason. But it's but but even then, Yoshimitsu is such a niche character. It's like there's only two channels to go from, and Inka has a job. Guess who doesn't? This guy right here. Guess who took advantage? This guy right here. Yeah, fuck the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but even I mean, but even then, like even then, it's like friendly competition anyway. Fucking love Inka, man. Inka's the fucking shit. You know, he styled on me. <laughs> he style he style on me all the fucking time. I'm just happy I can even take a game from the man. You know what I mean? Because mm. Inka's like up there with the Yoshimitsu players. Hmm. And it's like it's like one v one Yoshimitsu versus Yoshimitsu. I can take a couple games off of it. Does that make me awesome? I don't think so. Does that get me in the right direction? You're goddamn right. 
Because if I can, because it's, it's like if I can, if I can go toe to toe. Well, see, well, okay. Well, here's here was my logic for winning, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. If I can, if I can hit you once, that means I can hit you enough times to take a round. If I can take a round, I can take a game. If I can take a game, I can take fucking sets. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And as a, like that's my logic for getting better. And I think it's worked. I think it's worked out for the better. I'm learning more. I've learned more in Tekken than I have in anything else. Yeah. Yep. Ready for the next one? Well, I guess it's my turn then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I think I've. I think I like took the mound to the point where my vote, my voice is. I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have much of one. This it's a more on more of patience than anything. Because I've been seeing a lot of shit lately about uh Final Fantasy VII not coming out and shit. Mm -hmm. And um. How people are like, well, why aren't they getting the game out? Everybody else is getting their games out and stuff and whatnot. Well, because it's going to take time to recreate it. Yeah, exactly. They're, yeah, they're, re, uh, they're redoing that from the ground up, aren't they? They yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah, and I just wanted to address those things with, like, because Sony, Sony is good with their games for the most part. <laughs> but that's what they take their time with their games. Like, legit, any Final Fantasy game they've done has taken longer than most games. That includes the first one. <laughs> That's just a fact. And the people were like, well, they need to work faster and whatnot. I want to point you all to a game that was my worst game in 2011 that they rushed. It was called Mindjack. Now, you might be thinking, what the fuck is Mindjack? you probably never heard of this game, right? I'm pretty my mind. <laughs> But the, the game was basically that you played an agent that had the ability to go into other people's uh, minds and uh, mess up with the world during that point in time. And basically create a situation where you're always the victor, basically. Now, you could also play this with two-player mode so that somebody else is doing the whole, I guess, mind-jacking part while you're just kind of sitting around doing sniper shit and whatnot. Sounds like a fun concept, right? They fucked that shit up completely. <laughs> like, absolutely. I don't understand how you can fuck that shit up like that. But if anybody's interested in how bad they fucked that shit up, look up Robo Boss Fight, and you will just, it will tell you right then and there just how bad that game is. <laughs> <laughs> just to be respected, the boss that you fight there shoots at the ground. He shoots at the ground, not at you, at the ground. <laughs> I take it there's no jumping. No, oh, there's a ton of jumping. <laughs> Absolutely, you jump right off the map. <laughs> <laughs> and that was when they actually tried to rush a game. Like, really rush a game. So everybody was like, let's rush out Final Fantasy VII. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> play Mind Jack. Because, <laughs> I mean, another example of them not rushing a game, like I said before, is Final Fantasy. I guarantee you that's one good example of not rushing a game, taking your time, and people loving it. Regardless Which, of what number it is. <laughs> well, well, okay, well, even then, even then, I got a small, it's a small one, right? Okay, mm -hmm. like, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right, okay? Mm -hmm. But Final Fantasy XV, mm -hmm. I don't think they rushed it, but they... It it wasn't it they didn't rush it but it wasn't a complete project. Which I will give you that one. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't complete because there was so much stuff that was that could have been in the game that was not in the game at day one, and it's like wasn't, what what's uh, up? wasn't fifteen basically supposed to be one of the spinoffs to thirteen? Yeah, thirteen versus. Yeah. Yeah. Because I imagine they must have, like, even they gotten started, like, way back then. Yeah, like, with that one, I would say with 15, I won't say they rushed it as much as I think they ran out of time. Yeah. Really, yeah. after that. And they had a long time. Yeah. But it, even then, I still see out find people who say 15 is their favorite. So, <laughs> I, I, as much as people are like, eh, it's kind of rushed, people still love 15. <laughs> <laughs> that is my first Final Fantasy RPG. 
Really? Yeah, I've hmm. not, I've yet to play any of the other ones. Uh, just uh, lack lack of privilege. <laughs> I never like I never never had the opportunity to. Yeah. You're not the first person to actually say that to me because I know somebody who's never played a Final Fantasy ever. Yeah. And I'm just like really. Mm. Not surprised. But but even then, even then, day one, I was cool that I took the plunge. Hmm. Like because it's like. Because it's like I was just sitting there chilling with Lee. Lee was like, yeah, man, I'm excited for the game to come out. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever, man. Cool, cool, whatever. Hmm. Then an impulse in my mind. Fuck it. And I just bought the day one edition, season pass and all. And I'm like, even then, the day one, like the day one story, right? Because mm-hmm. I beat it relative. I beat it before, well, Lee and I both beat it before a patch ever came out for the game. Mm-hmm. And uh, it wasn't a bad story. It was like it was like it wasn't like Andromeda where people was just like, no, fuck this. Mm. It's like okay, this was cool, but it it could have had a little bit more. And mm. t- you know, and Tetsu, Tetsuya Nomura was just like, nah, you're right. It's okay. Don't worry. We're we're, we're working on it. Yeah, and lo- and it's like as the character DLCs came out, they started adding cutscenes, uh, filling up like plot holes. Like what really, what exactly happened when that particular event happened? Mm-hmm. You know, and they started to fill in the blanks on those. And it's like now they're having an update where you can actually play as the other members of the story. Mm-hmm. They're adding like for free. Like, that's not a season pass. That's not a DLC or anything like that. Nothing like Comrades or nothing like that. They're going to let you play as Gladio, Ignis, and Prompto in the main game. Mm-hmm. And, now, and it, they felt like with the way that the game was in, like, engined around, it's like, well, why wasn't there? Like, why wasn't it there at day one? Just ran out of time, man. Yeah. But now they're Cause adding in. Well, what's up? Because you're going to get, lo- get lots of people complaining about that shit where it's just like, the, the final, like, the final end game product is, like, everyone's gonna be thinking, like, this should have been, like, the day one on release product, and we should have more stuff. Like, it's it's a case of you can't fucking please everybody. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And this is definitely one of those, like, lose-lose situations, almost. Like, they still got a lot of money, thankfully, on it. But it definitely was one of those situations, like, ah, oh, we're fucking running out of time. <laughs> 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 you know, that's all I had. Dude, um, Comrades, comrades wasn't, <laughs> yeah. comrades wasn't even an idea that they had. They had a press conference, and it was just like, "Hey, what do you guys want to see in Final Fantasy 15?" Like, "Hey, man, can we have co-op?" Yeah, okay, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like, like, hey, will there be co-op? There will be now. All right, okay, we got comrades. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> No, like no, no BS. That's that's legit how it went down. And it was just like, hey, can we have co-op? Yeah, we uh, totally had that the entire time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We totally didn't have that. No, no, we we totally didn't have that. Like, hey, what? Hey, get his name. Why? Give us his name. Why? We need to hire that man now. But no, but at least, but at least Final Fantasy Fifteen went down as good, but could have been better, and is actively getting better. Because better than like some of the other ones that, that have come out where you could just say like it was absolute crap. Yeah, because mm-hmm. there were because at least at least despite despite all the problems that Fifteen had, at least there was nothing game breaking about it. Mm-hmm. Hell, there's content in the game that I still that I still haven't gone after yet. <laughs> there's no loot boxes. There's no loot boxes. There's no loot boxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, Shadow of War ought to be ashamed of themselves for that shit, oh, putting loot boxes. I forgot about that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. You just didn't want to remember. <laughs> well, man, maybe that too. But <laughs> Damn. No, that's all I had for mine. Not much. Just. Just wait, damn it! Go win another mind jack, please, you guys. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't want to be where I be. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's the, it's somewhat the gamer's fault that games are so rushed out nowadays. Anyway, mm. it is, yeah. 
because all people all people it's just like man we want we want that game now it's like but it's not ready yet shut the fuck up we want it now well because yeah because it's that paradox of like we want it now but we also want it to be like chock full of like so much shit it's just like well we want the shit that's gonna take time but we want it now yeah well damn (laughs) good luck (laughs) No, if that's I honestly think that's part of why the microtransactions and shit, all the loot boxes and shit are working. Because it's like it's like it's it's somewhat our fault that they're coming out incomplete. Because like in Nintendo sixty four games come out, alright, well what we got is what we got. Hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? Like that was a, it it was a complete fucking game. But it's like nowadays we have all this technology, but no games worth a damn. It's like it's our fault because we want it. And we want it now. Plus, mm-hmm. also the gamers throw can or have the ability to throw pressure because the uh, the internet is like so accessible with like social media and all that stuff. Like, because people will say like, "Oh, what about 64 games? What about like PlayStation 2 games? What about fucking like uh, Xbox games?" And it's just like, yeah, they were making those all in their own time, and they weren't being pressured by some random ass hack on the on Twitter fucking yelling at them to make it good or they're gonna stop buying their game. I know, yeah. like, as much as I I love the meme of Eno, I feel his pain. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you mean to the point? You mean to the point where the man actually literally had to make himself a shirt that says "Don't ask me for shit." Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> that point. <laughs> like, I, I feel his pain. I'm not gonna lie. I see so the it- comments he gets. It's- kind of ridiculous <laughs> yeah so it's just kind of like uh yeah like fucking games are different but uh compared to what back in the old days but it's just like fucking that was a different time when a lot of shit fucking that's taken for granted wasn't accessible yeah, people seem to forget about like the whole street fighter thing uh and stuff like that when they had to update a game it was a brand new game <laughs> oh yeah you were stuck with that game for a lot longer <laughs> Like, it wasn't like, oh, you just download something and then now fix it. No, you, you had to buy a brand new game. <laughs> no, yeah, because it was like fucking when when the freaking the younger guys are like are going around talking about like, oh my god, Street Fighter Three is one of the best amazing fucking fighting games ever. It's legendary. It's just like, yeah, t- play Street Fighter Three vanilla and then tell me how amazing it fucking is. Without Ryu or Ken. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> unfair. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like fucking play that and then tell me how fucking amazing uh, uh, old school gaming is. Hmm. No, that's all I had. Yeah. Did you get the last one? Uh, well, actually, I did remember, uh, like, telling my brother, like, it me of uh, the one I did um, uh, want to talk about because it is kind of like a long time coming. Uh, it, and it's, uh, it's Mega Man. Mega Man. Mega Man. And they're releasing a new game. Mega Man. And I, for one, am actually quite hyped. Now, why are you hyped? Because what? I do like Mega Man. I liked Mega Man to the point that I actually used to watch the shitty American show. Oh, God. Poor thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> I would be like, fuck it, there's no other Mega Man shows on TV. Might as well watch this one. It's like watching Sonic. <laughs> Sorry, but which I got a juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, which one? Because apparently there were three and I watched the bad one. Of course, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, that, that was the only one, like, fucking I, I had access to. If, if I had uh, the option to watch the good one, uh, then I'd just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna watch the fucking good one. <laughs> I, I didn't just fucking tune in mindlessly, but I was just like, fuck, man, you know, like, uh, I still, like, I wanted to watch anything, like, video games on television but yeah and it's just like I'm, I'm excited for it uh like I know a lot of people aren't really digging like the the style for some reason I don't know why but it is like because the thing about, I'm, I'm kind of worried about it for Mega Man 11 is uh that I, I like see I'm glad I am probably like the only person I know that actually likes Mega Man 8 and because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking, you, you look at, like, online forums and shit like that, they fucking treat it like the redheaded stepchild of the fucking series. Uh, which is why, it's, like, because of that reaction, that's why ended, uh, Mega Man uh, 9 and 10 ended up going, like, back to 8-bit, because I guess, like, fucking, it got, like, rejected so hard. 
Mm -hmm. it, it's just kind of like, yeah, don't get me wrong, I know the voice acting shit and everything, but I'm just like, it's still a fun game, it's honestly one of my favorites. Mm. Uh, I almost want to get, like, Legacy Collection 2, just so I can fucking stream Mega Man 8 and say, you bitches don't know quality. Mm -hmm. And fucking, um... And I'm just kind of worried that with 11, because they're moving away from 8-bit uh, again, it's like a whole kind of like cycle thing might happen, where it's just like, they try to move the series forward, fans don't like it, so then they go back and then the fucking series fight goes away for a while. You know, I'm just kind of like, I'm worried that history might repeat itself from like the worst point of the Mega Man franchise. Yeah. I was hoping for 11 3, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> You and fucking everyone else, and I'm just kind of like, fucking move on. <laughs> Dude, I, I just think I, about it. I, I, you, know what? That. <laughs> you know what, though? You know what? I didn't even like Legends 2 that much. I'll fucking say it. Nobody cares what you like at this point. <laughs> 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 so fuck you, this is my podcast, and people care. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't like that, though. But I would be, like, as far as, like, a Capcom standpoint, they announced that people would love the shit out of Capcom at that point. Like, they would, and they probably, and like, the, the way that the people have been fucking, like, uh... I mean, would they still be able to win, though? Because it's just like, I was gonna say, like, they could probably make, like, a half-assed version of Legends 3, and people would just be like, Oh my god, we totally love it! And I'm like, now they'd probably bitch and mod anyway. They're bitching and modding about getting a new Mega Man game. Yeah, maybe because it's not Legends, though. And the, I'm not gonna lie, the art style is kind of getting to people, too kind of weird uh, like, like this i like yeah I, I the the 3d models are definitely rougher i get that um i do hope that they do get tighter because like it just barely got announced so clearly they're not fucking finished mm -hmm. uh, and they said like it's gonna be it's basically gonna take like, a whole year so we might see some graphical improvements you better but i don't want a repeat of uh what's his name like legit i don't want a repeat of oh, that. oh <laughs> mighty number nine mighty number nine. Oh yeah so many people like, cause that's basically like the, the, the comment section when I was watching it, it was basically like, it was half, oh my god, uh, fucking, uh, this isn't Legends 3, and the other half is just like, oh man, fucking, like, what's the Nifune gonna say now that after he fucking flopped with Mighty Number no. 9? Mm -hmm. it, dude, imagine if it turns out that, like, fucking, uh, 11 turns out to be way better than Mighty Number no. 9. Oh, that's not hard. Let's be honest. Here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because like the 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 fucking people who were interviewing, they actually seemed like passionate about it. They were just like, "Oh man, you know, I want to make a new fucking Mega Man." Mm. Uh, but I mean, like, like I I I really hope that like the game uh, does well. I hope that like yeah, I hope it gets uh, uh, updated and stuff. Because uh, one of the things I do like from the updates is how you actually see like physical changes in Mega Man when he when he, when he changes uh, the friggin' powers. Mm -hmm. Like, I, th I think that's, like, a cool addition. Uh, if anything, though, I would say that I want them to sh um, to shift the, f like, the formula a little bit. I don't want it to just be, like, select the 8 Robot Masters and then go to Wily's Castle and all that shit. You know, I want them to, like, try to advance in some way. Do you know that there's a good chance that's gonna happen because of, uh, Sonic Mania? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. But, I mean, like, because... That's also for another thing about it too, because I almost want to say that like the fans almost like stilt the creativity of fucking Mega Man, because mm. it's just gonna be like it's gotta fit this formula or we'll be pissed. Mm. And that's that's the, that's another the another part of the reason why I'm just kind of like I want um, I'm just happy there's a new Mega Man period. I want uh yeah there's, it's probably gonna follow the eight little robot master formula, but I mean like fuck I hope they can find a way to like freaking change it up at least a little bit, because mm. like. It's not so, like, it's not a bad formula. I'm just kind of gonna, I'm just kind of like, I've seen it way too much at this point. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know, you guys got anything? What games are you guys excited for? The genre of game does not matter. Uh, I'm basically always excited for like the next upcoming game, so I'm super hyped for the Monster Hunter World beta at the moment. Oh shit, yeah, that's nice. That's next week. Yeah, it is. No, this, weekend. this weekend, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't exactly counting betas, though. That was uh, good. Good answer, but that pretty much just confirmed <laughs> Monster Hunter World. So not Monster Hunter World. Anything else? All right. Uh, well, well, because I mean, like again, it, for me, it's, it's the next thing, and I've got like friggin' Dead Rising Four for PS4 uh, pre-ordered. I'm waiting for that to come out. I think it comes out actually. 
So like I'm I'm excited for Dead Rising 4 for my PS4. Lit. I was just about to say because I was uh, I was gonna answer that, but I had to make a, something. Does it matter if it's DLC for a game I've already played? Eh, not really. It's big. I don't know, man. Like, no, actually, no. Fuck it, no. It doesn't fucking matter. Just be excited. Yeah, just be excited. Because I was excited for um, Resident Evil 7 DLC. It's coming out this month. Oh, yeah, I'm also going to buy, like, the Gold Edition. Yeah. Because, like, that's actually something, like, I planned uh, for a stream is, like, for the fucking, for December, it's going to be like, oh, it's Christmas time. And then, but it's just like, yeah, it's Christmas time, and I'm playing Dead Rising 4, which is super Christmassy, and I'm going to play, uh, what, I think it's called, like, uh, Resident Evil 7 Gold or something like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and it's just gonna be like, and I'm gonna play that too. It is just like, you know, zombies. Super Christmassy. <laughs> Jesus was a zombie. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's my, the, the dumb stuff I got. But, yeah, I'm more, like, if I had to go, like, full game, it would be Monster Hunter World. Bitch! But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said specifically, not Monster Hunter World. Anything else? Oh, I thought you meant the beta. Okay. I was like, no, no. You said the. I you said the beta. You said you said okay, the Monster Hunter World beta. I'm like, okay, I didn't really mean beta, but that pretty much just sealed Monster Hunter World. So not that. Yo, bitch ass, gonna say that okay. anyway. Yeah, I didn't hear that part. So okay, if we're not doing that one, then I guess the other one would be Dragon Ball Fighter. Noise. I mean, that's the third one for me. Is like I'm saying, I got too many options because I don't fucking uh, organize my money responsibly. Although a game that has uh, like other than those two, the one that really has me intrigued is Ghost of uh, Tsushimura. I think it's called. It's like some kind of PlayStation Japanese ninja fighting game thing. Uh, not fighting game. Um, uh, action adventure thing. I don't know exactly what it is, but damn, does it look interesting. <laughs> Especially since it's made by Sucker Punch, who made uh, Infamous and stuff. Hmm. And also, Detroit Become Human has me in mixed feelings because it's David Cage and fuck David Cage, but I love I like the <laughs> game. I'm so conflicted, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, did that, a lot. <laughs> what did that person do to you? His games. Oh. Every, almost every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of them, and the fact that they exist, just oh. I don't think. Have you heard of uh, Indigo <clears throat> Prophecy? Probably one or one two times. Okay, yeah. That the the half point of that game is a literal fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and then he made Omnicron for that, which is another fuck you. <laughs> and then he made. I think did he make Heavy Rain? I think I was about to say because it's like yeah you 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 you're gonna be kind of screwed because he made heavy rain I think heavy rain is where I'm like okay he has something <laughs> let me look it up and then I think it was beyond the uh, two souls where I was like maybe not <laughs> you said David Cage right yes yeah David Cage he was a designer okay it, 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 it looked like a David Cage game and then like beyond two souls was also David Cage and I'm like. Hmm. It's almost like Shyamalan in a way. <laughs> cause I, I was gonna say, cause isn't it like his games are super story heavy, and so I guess like he just he just doesn't know how to write a good story at some point. It really is like it's big time events with story basically. It's like what what's that company that does like uh, Wolf it's, Among it's a fancy stuff? book. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I was like, what, oh, I can't think of the company. They do like Wolf Among Us, uh, Walking Dead series. Um. Oh, shit. Telltale? Uh, Telltale. Telltale. He's like that, but not as good. Well, damn. <laughs> like right. His graphics beat them by a country mile, but everything else Telltale stomps them on. <laughs> that just goes to show you, graphics don't make the games, ladies and germs. Exactly. <laughs> and then, uh, I guess you want to get to, like, the fucking heartbreaking part? Well, heartbreaking in a way, but we're going to try to liven it. I mean, we'll try, but shit. Was everybody getting their heart broken for? Uh, because fucking, uh, since, I mean, we're all pretty much huge DBZ fans here, right? We're, we're all fans of Dragon Ball. Yep. And so I'm guessing you must have, did, like, let me ask you this, Eddie, because fucking Jess showed me this at work, and I'm still a little pissed about it, because <laughs> I, I really didn't want to fucking cry while I, was at, while I was at work. Um, 
Because did you hear? Did you hear about like the whole thing with Bulma that happened like what three weeks ago at this point? Yeah, about three weeks ago. Didn't she have a miscarriage or something? Because I don't know. Uh, cause fucking uh, the the Japanese voice actress for Bulma passed away uh on oh. November. Oh, that. Oh yeah, I know about yeah. that. And that was a sad day for everyone. Mm. Oh yeah, fucking like no joke, dude. I fucking cried for three days. Jesus. Yeah, that bad. You like are... it hit me that bad, and I wanted to, and we wanted to take a moment to like a thing. The thing I wanted to do was, like, not say, like, oh, we're sad about this person gone. I wanted to see, like, a thing, like, what is your favorite performance of this person? Or why other people should look at this person? Right. You would have to explain it to me because I'm not too strong on voice actors. Okay, because, uh, like, because I was going to say, like, these, like, uh, I'll look up some of the voice roles uh, I know. Because like, I, I got her Wikipedia page open. So, like, I'll read some uh, animes I, I know that, uh, like, that I've seen. Maybe you might have seen them too. Sure. Uh, maybe, in the, like, uh, just to give you, like, an idea of, like, the characters. Because, mm -hmm. like, for example, like, yeah, you obviously know off the top of your head that, like, she was Bulma. But it's just, like, uh, let me see if I can find it. Um... Because she did voices on, uh, on Queen Seiya. She's, uh, done voices on Ranma. She's done voices on Trigon. Um, uh, she, uh, let's see. This one, this one I watched, I doubt you, uh, I doubt you, you'll know it, but it's just like, uh, I see, I've seen, I've seen this one, it's uh, called Lokina. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Detective Conan. Uh, Samurai Champloo. Mm -hmm. Uh, One Piece. Of, uh, 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 but, I, if nothing else, Eddie. Uh, cause let me ask you this, um, uh, what's the earliest, like, Tekken games you've played? The earliest Tekken games I've played? Yeah. At some point I did play all of them, but I started out at Tekken 2, you know, and have owned every single one since. Okay, cause she, in, in Tekken 3, she did the voice for Julia Chang. What? Yep. yep. She was the voice for Julia Chang in, in Tekken 3. In English? Uh, well, uh, clearly not in English, but she was she like the official voice actor? I think she did it in Tekken Tag. Yeah, she did it in Tekken Tag 2 also. Or no, Tekken Tag 1. Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was also Naomi Hunter in Metal Gear Solid in Japanese. No, oh, well, um, right. Okay, I think I recall that one. Yeah. Um, let's see, because there was also like, uh, oh yeah, she, in Japanese, she was fucking Eliza Masters in Street Fighter 2. Word. She didn't appear much in that. <laughs> that and yeah, it, but... And then it's like, and it was also like Japanese voice acting. Uh, my okay. weeb levels aren't really that high anymore. <laughs> it's weeb game up. Um, I know, right? <laughs> no, no, true shit. I'm a disappointment. I know. I gotta get my weed up, man. Awesome. <laughs> I know, I know, man. I'm I'm falling off on my weed game, man. I used to be the weebiest of them all. She, she, uh, shit, but man. that she all changed. Like in, uh, that all 20... changed when the paychecks are ch uh, attacked. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I thought you were saying when Dazi attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna go classic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and also like she, yeah, she, yeah, she was still fucking doing her character in like the Trigun movie that came out in like 2010. Mm -hmm. I, I, like... She did pass away. Like at least she didn't go out like extreme or nothing like that. She was just like she just got in her car and was just like, I'm tired. Just all right. Yeah, this is it right here. Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe she passed away after getting into her car one that, that day that she died. But you know, yeah. but but the cynic, mm -hmm. the cynic in me is just like, well, I mean, at least she didn't cause like a car wreck or anything like that. At least she went peacefully. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to take solace in it. It's just like, yes, it's unfortunate that she passed. Unfortunately, that's just that's just a constant in life. But at least she, but uh, to be on on the bright side, at least she went peacefully. Unfortunately, it was in her car, 
but it, at least it was peacefully it was no nothing violent you know what I mean it was natural causes as opposed to our stars dying while overdosing on heroin in a back alley in New Orleans you know what I mean mm-hmm. so you know much respect mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, favorite performances. Let's go. Let's go. Chop, chop. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's see if uh, Eddie can actually uh, name anything. No, I can't. I, I truly cannot. Well, I'll say this. I'm just kind of glad that you actually did get a reaction when fucking I said Julia Chang. Yeah, that shit took me by surprise. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Because I don't keep up with Japanese voice actors at all. Because, like, the, the reason why I brought her up, because I thought of the fact that you're, like, the biggest second fan, but it's also, like, uh, I thought that those games were basically voice locked. So it's just, like, you weren't going to really be able to change the, the languages. Oh, no. Yeah, they... Like, it didn't really happen for, like, what? Tag two? What, the, like, the, like a forced audio lock? Yeah. Yeah, where, where, like, the English characters actually speak English and shit like that. Yeah, that, they didn't have uh, like too, didn't it? when they actually kept them at their actual voices. Uh, you mean like speaking their native tongue, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, that uh, that was they mixed it up. Tekken Tag One had native speaking. Uh, Tekken. I think you probably could change those, but in Tekken, at least in Tekken Tag One, they had their uh, they had their natural tongue. Tekken 6, for I guess for the sake of clarity for the story, everybody spoke English. Hmm. But uh, yeah, Tekken Tag 2, most definitely everyone spoke in their native tongue. And also now in Tekken 7, everyone speaks their native tongue. I mean, like, hell, if nothing else, like, uh, she voiced her for, like, her first appearance, because Julia Chang, I, like, I'm not strong, my Tekken game's not strong. So fucking, like, I looked it up, it's like, yeah, Julia Chang, first appearance, Tekken 3. Yeah, because it was Michelle Chang, then 2 and 1. Yep. So, I mean, there you go. If there's nothing else, you can praise her for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll give you this one. It's a gift. <laughs> yeah, like, I, like I'll like agree. I am way out of the loop for that one. Well, I mean, like, better than the alternative where I was fucking sobbing my eyes out just for the one performance. Oh, mm. right. I mean, hey, you was probably just going to have to chew me alive, kick me out of the podcast, man. I, I'd have accepted it. <laughs> Sorry. I, <laughs> Sorry, man. I let you down. Amazing one, everybody. <laughs> like, I let you down, man. I did the best I could, man. Tried to carry yeah. it for as long as I could, but I let you down in the end, and I'm a fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jess? No, I mean, Boma really was my big one. Who's the one she played in? remember her name per se uh meryl stripe yes her that was my second favorite then that was one of the other few times i actually watched an anime in japanese (laughs) (laughs) i mean it it was crazy because i watch i watch anime in japanese but it's just like i really don't go out of the way for their you know i really don't go out of the way (laughs) but yeah i'm sorry we find it kind of funny that she was also Trinity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's Trinity in the uh, yeah, or Animatrix, yeah. It's like, oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> she, oh, oh, she, she did live action dubbing, too. Hmm. No, that's all I got for that one. Yeah, I mean, like, fucking. I mean, obviously, it's Bulma for me, because, like, shit, man, my earliest memories are fucking watching Dragon Ball. Granted, it's in fucking, like, like Spanish. earliest memories, it's in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> However, that being said, when fucking Dragon Ball Kai was announced, I was watching that whole fucking thing in Japanese. So it's almost like I got, a, like, a fucking second shot at the apple for her being, like, my, like, uh, one of my favorites, uh, favorite, uh, favorites for Bulma. And... <laughs> yeah, because if anything, I would probably be insulting Eddie by telling him like uh, English is my like my third favorite just because it's by default. <laughs> Why? What? Why would you expect judgment out of me, man? <laughs> 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 Fool. 
It's like, uh, it, wait, 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 wait. What languages do you speak, Moops? I just speak Spanish and English. Okay, so guess what, man? That's one more language than me. So who the fuck am I? <laughs> <laughs> to, to say some shit to you about how dare you not speak English. Nigga, you speak a second language and learning a third. To be honest, you can probably get more jobs than half of America at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, well, not at this point. Maybe last year. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah. So fucking like, but so it's like, yeah, I got to see fucking Bulma again, and like from Z onwards, uh, a second shot because of Kai. Nice. And I'm fucking like. I just got devastated when uh, Jazz told me, like, fucking, how was that? It was, like, almost, like, two hours worth of shock. Because, mm. fucking, like, it was, like, as soon as my work day was done, uh, I just got in my car, I started contemplating, and then I started fucking leaking. Mm. And, but, I mean, fucking, yeah, I just, like, I'll say this, though, it's just, like, the importance of, like, fucking Bulma is just, like, think about how many people were, like, inspired by the fucking character. Because, like, I want to be strong as a fucking Goku, but it's just, like, imagine how many people wanted to be, like, super scientist as a Bulma. Yeah. <laughs> Eloquent. <laughs> <laughs> and sweet concept. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's like, uh, um, so, I mean, yeah, man, you know, it's, like, fucking, way fucking sad, and I'm not gonna lie, if I think about it too much, then I start weeping up again. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, that's not, but I mean, we gotta give some fucking memorial to Hiromi Suru. So, fucking, like, I don't know, how, 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 do, how do we end this to, like, fucking. Uh, I'm on a happy right now. <laughs> go, watch, go watch Dragon Ball, you bastards, and learn how important she was. From the beginning, so you watch OG Dragon Ball. Don't be like Jazz, he never watched OG. Fuck Damn. Me. <laughs> no, I watched bits and pieces of it, man. Like, I got the gist of what it was. <laughs> Goku was a kid, he grew up. The end. <laughs> Fuck you. Pretty much. <laughs> we had a girl, her name was Chi Chi. She kind of disappeared after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Commitments. Yamcha was there. He was actually useful for once. <laughs> <laughs> That's been, it's basically because of that show that I'm just kind of like, why is everybody giving Yamcha grief? <laughs> Because everybody knows Z and not Dragon Ball. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so. Dragon Ball, I'm... just regular old Dragon Ball. When the Wolf Fang yeah. fist was fucking devastating. Dude, Wolf Fang yep. fist was lit. But <laughs> 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 uh, I guess the best way to end this is we'll miss you, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side, Hiromi. Uh, if I see her in the other side, I'm giving her the biggest goddamn hug. I'm gonna say swerve. <laughs> <laughs> what up? I'm just gonna swerve out of there. Be like, oh god, <laughs> this is happening. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna be the only one that fucking does it. <laughs> but you might as well start learning to get used to it. There will already be a line. <laughs> oh, fucking hell yeah! <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess that's it for that. Um, and I didn't cry, all right. It's a success because I didn't cry. Uh, so do we, is there anything you guys want to plug or? Yes, this is time for the plugging of channels. I'm glad you added the last part because otherwise it would have been weird. Yes, all the plugging. No, and now it's weird. If it... <laughs> All right, take this official, <laughs> take this official quote from the corrupted TV. If it's a hole, it needs to be plugged by yours today. <laughs> I mean, I heard something similar in another fucking part. If it's got a slip, you must fuck it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Eddie, you go first. Oh shit. Um. All right, putting your boy on the spot. <laughs> All right, my Twitch. Been doing that the whole night. Uh, well, yeah, true that. My Twitch channel is the Corrupted TV. You can also find me on YouTube at the Corrupted HD. Ah, uh, my name is Eddie. I make guide videos. I help get gamers in the right place. 
and that would do it for me. Remember, that's a whole plug it. Word. Word. And don't be an asshole. Don't be a goddamn asshole. Unless you want to get plugged. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> All right, I guess I will go next. This is your boy, Cosmo Jazz. This is basically where you'll find me anywhere. Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. My or... house. No. no <laughs> I'm trying to slip that in there. <laughs> no, I've been, I'm working on a couple of other projects, including another creepypasta that is going to be Christmas themed. You can check that. Uh, the other one we did at Halloween with my boy Mootsy. Oh yeah, and... actually, quick question about the the creepy, the first creepy pasta you made. Uh, how no, did that go? No questions, only pain. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that bad. No, I mean, <laughs> some people liked it. I mean, it was the first one, so it wasn't gonna be glorious, but <laughs> it was uh, it was good. A lot, some people liked it. Well, you know, some. <laughs> I mean, as many people that saw it, it's not like it went viral or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, and that's actually why I wanted to do a follow-up, because it's just like, what if it accidentally became viral? That would be sick. <laughs> then again, <laughs> that would be one of those ones where it would kind of be in the back of my mind that I was doing a girl, vo vo girl voice in that. I was just like, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna yes, <laughs> please get an actual female next time. I, I heard, the I heard like, the uh, first ten minutes, because I wanted to see if I was, like, super terrible in it. And, uh, I was, like, when I heard your girl voice, I was like, oh, God. Hey, you didn't find one either, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask me to look. <laughs> I knew it was a fail. So. <laughs> <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> you ran right into that one, I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have cast me. Probably wouldn't have been believable, but... <laughs> Probably more believable than his, though. Probably. It's not gonna... No, his voice is kind of too deep for that, I think. And it, what if we did Lee, though? That would be... <laughs> that, Hello, that it, your girlfriend. That'd be even worse. <laughs> that would be really hilarious. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm thinking that now. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> move on, move on. All right. So, yeah. Um, doing creepypasta stuff. Also, I'm doing some acapella remix remixes coming up next week. Check those out. And I will catch you guys, if not at some point soon, sometime next year. Happy Christmas, New Year's, all that bullshit. Get a better sign off. Um, yeah, Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> that should be it. Even though it's like break in like July or something. <laughs> Uh, well, because I'm going to be doing some restructuring, uh, and I'm going to be having some life stuff, the best place you can catch me is on my Twitch channel, Mr. Moopsy, uh, at Twitch. Um, I'm going to, I tend to play, like, some Street Fighter, some random-ass games, uh, like, the next one I've got planned, I think it's going to be on Friday, since I don't work Fridays anymore, or at least for my old job. Uh, and I'm going to be playing, uh, Neo, uh, on Friday. So fucking well, actually no, more like Thursday, Thursday, Friday, whatever. Uh, catch me rage quitting at a fucking game that's apparently Dark Souls difficulty, and Go then point blank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think that's about this. This that's the end of this fucking podcast. God damn, I can't talk. Um, we still haven't named this podcast, but this is also doing like a fucking five episode run. So we'll see how this goes. And hopefully this one actually records well because this is technically the second episode. If we're all good. Well, no, it's official uh, on the books. It's number one. So hey, we did our first one. Yeah.